these streets with diamonds in our eyes Out with the vampires under a midnight sky My mind so hypnotized It was exciting It was the 90s Daddy always said that I was going too far Said there's never any compromising If you try to win the battle to be who you are I dance to the left, I dance to the right Hold hands with my demons and creatures of night On an undercover mission to find
Ups, everybody. You know, people thought there's gonna be a normal monkey monkey spank monologues. They didn't know they get an Atlas right. face Thank reveal. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate it. As you that. can see, Atlas has chosen to show his face now on this stream. On the right side of your screen, there is Atlas. Atlas, are you here with me today in the studio as well? I am. I am, and I'm happy I finally got to do my face reveal here on Monkey Spank. Yes, this was the right place to do it. Um, for sure. So there we go. Oh, and a lot of people were wondering, a lot of people, you know, background were asking, what does Atlas look like? And I said, you know what? It's time. We have to show it here. And there it is. So uh, Atlas is going to be on the stream today. <laughs> not really, not really. But I did put that here because, because I know so many people want to hear more of the legendary interviewer known as Jake James Lugo. And we're doing it tonight. Tonight we have. Last week, we heard the, the first 30 minutes. This week, we got the second 30 minutes, and this is EX Mode. So we have to be patrons to get this. And we've turned into patrons today because we are patrons of Jake James Lugo, and we get the special content. So uh, it's going to be very hype, extremely hype. So stay tuned for that. Before we get to that, though, we do have to get through another Ask the King, of course. I mean, come on. Uh, oddly enough, this one was only 30 minutes, so this is only a 30-minute edition. Usually they take about 50 minutes, but we got a 30-minute edition. And even before we get to that, I do have something else of note. So, uh, Atlas, are you familiar with someone known as Kay's Cooking? Kay's Cooking. Have you ever heard that name? I have heard that name, yeah. Okay, so Kay's Cooking is a cooking channel, just in case anyone didn't know. It's a cooking channel, and they cook, like, nasty stuff. All right, basically. I mean, that's the long and short of it. I'm not. I think that's safe to say. They cook stuff Put that doesn't look I like it. Yes. So yeah, uh, I've seen this lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. So oddly, I was looking at. Uh, I was. This is so weird. Um. So just I want to show you that she has she has some some sick merch here. Kay's cooking, and the uh, you know you can't see the URL, but I'll tell you it. It is w uh, Kay's cooking two at creator dot spring dot com. So, I just want you to keep that in your mind, all right? So, they got, you know, whatever. This is not important. I promise it's not important. So, I did find on Instagram, though, this is Kay's Cooking. It's Kay's Cooking 2 is her title, okay? So, I was looking at DSPs uh, in Instagram for something else, unrelated. But then, I, lo I found this one, this sausage, okay? And wouldn't you know it, look, 193 weeks ago, look who commented on this. Kay's cooking too, which is Kay's cooking account, and her her comment was, "Did you find them in your mother's cunt?" You can't make this Awfully stuff hostile. up. You can't make this up. I mean, she's never. I, I didn't see her com. She's never commented on DSP before that I've ever seen, but it's just very very odd that I, I the, the sausage brought out Kay's cooking, and. uh a very toxic comment for sure. 193 weeks ago. So I gotta wonder what up. made her make that comment. Like, what what's her knowledge on the DSP stuff then? If that's what she decided to pull out for the sausage pick. Uh, yeah. I, I, it, so, it, all it does is make more questions. Uh, but yeah, there's the sausage and, and Kay's cooking found the sausage and, and decided to make that comment. So what a world. There's our first uh, little mini. Well, we all well, get to see some sausage. So big ups for that. Sausage lovers out there. This is actually chicken sausage. 
And uh, yeah, uh, Phil's Instagram is a very special place. I don't know, Atlas, if you've ever been down this, this uh, rabbit hole, but uh, there was uh, the taking era, a gander. Yeah, the the era of taking pictures of the TV screen, a classic. Uh oh, who's that? Who's that, boys? <laughs> Jonathan, the legend. <laughs> and let me tell you that the the number of questions we're getting on there is going is is so crazy right now. We're on such a pace. We might finish this uh, challenge very soon. I don't know if you've seen our tracker here, Atlas, but uh, we have a tracker oh, yeah. for this. The Valentine's Day stream was really getting you some headway on that. I, I've uh -huh. seen it. Uh huh. And we were going nuts. I got. I forgot to update this. We're up to about ten down now. Uh, we got. Um, <laughs> we got the mountain biking. We got the plumber. We got the. Uh, what else have we had? We got almost a uh, many. I'll, I'll fix it before tomorrow, so we'll be able to see the true count. But. Big ups, everybody, for making that work, because that is a... Uh, I want to keep this going as long as possible. But enough preamble. The flea market. Yeah, flea market's done, too. Someone said, have you ever been to a flea market? Plumber. <laughs> but anyway. They asked about get... being a waiter. They asked about restaurants based on themes. I've seen that, but I... I oh, they saw that response. one? I didn't see that one. That's my white whale. Well, they asked. They asked. I don't know if he answered. I kept <laughs> okay. seeing him in the chat. Yeah. That's, the, that's what they makes were the trying. challenge fun because you can ask whatever you want, but getting him to answer it, now that's the hard one, you know? So it's pretty hype. But uh, yeah, the, re the theme restaurant one is going to be hype when it happens. But anyways, this is episode 16. We are in August 25th of 2011. Uh, lots to, this is what he says, lots to cover in this edition of Ask the King. GameStop's unfair practices, a 20-year-old dies from playing video games, and more. All right, so that's the, that's what we could have to look forward to here. Let's go. Lay up, motherfucker! Classic. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? DSC here, and welcome to another edition of Ask the King. Today is August 25th, 2011, and I believe this is episode 16. So, we've now gone through 16 official versions of Ask the King, which is pretty cool when you think about it, you know, how long I've been doing it and all the stuff Super that we've cool. uh, talked about. 16 and is cool, I guess. Okay. Of course, of almost a year now, I'd say that I've probably been doing this. Um, ALT oh, yeah. remember being 16 back in 1516. Uh, it was really cool this for you. Not that relatively long ago. Quickly. Uh, I know that a lot of the time... I <laughs> like two, it was yesterday. <laughs> parts of these, but I want to try to get this done in one part. I actually have a very important oh. channel update I'll be putting up today with uh -oh. a lot of information. Uh, that's been, you know, accumulating. So I want to try to get through these. So we're going to get right into the questions. That and hopefully too. <laughs> we'll get through this within a half hour. So let me start my timer here. Okay. And the first question. <clears throat> big up, Sam. And big ups to name placeholder uh, so as well. What do you think about the Resident Evil HD remakes only being $20 as opposed to the normal full price that retail releases oh, for God. remakes usually get? For example, Spoiler oh, yeah. Cell and Prince of Persia got HD remakes and they were full price. Oh, Is the example style. set by this and the Beyond Good and Evil remake that came out earlier this year... Uh, one that should be followed by future remakes. And another question was, uh, other than a perfect HD port of Super Turbo, what HD remake would you questions. most want to see occur in the future? And those questions are from Hazard. Um, All right. Hazard. Thank you well, for re-upping your membership. Real quick, I that is that. a good shout there. Um, we do have a lot of, sh Fear Marnock sh points out, we do have some shit on the desk here. That is true. Looks like a Target run. So interesting. Oh, I didn't even <laughs> notice the Target run. I wonder what he picked up. <laughs> yeah. A remake is a remake. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And if you're going to remake of a game and you're not really significantly putting in a lot of new content, if it's just a graphical overhaul, yeah. then I completely agree that these games should be being released graphical? for discounted prices. I think that the $20 mm -hmm. price point for the Resident Evil remakes is perfect because if you want to play the game again in HD, yeah. that's a good price. If you It's the first time you're ever experiencing those games, but you realize you're probably going to have some dated gameplay, that's probably a reasonable price. I don't think anyone should be charging full price for an uh, HD re-release, I think that would be absolutely ridiculous. So, ridiculous. okay. I really feel that they're going the right route with the, rest the worst of the take I've ever heard. Now, as for what game would I most like to see remade in HD in the future, I would love to see the original Final Fantasy games. Any one of them oh. from Final Fantasy One to Final Fantasy Six. Those 2D games. Ooh, I hold on. I heard I heard Jar says fun fact Hazard has an accent which Phil was quick to mock in his CSGO. This is how you don't play. Nice. Oh very deep good voice style. I want to see that. one of those remade in HD. I think that seeing HD artwork hand drawn in those games uh would be gorgeous. I mean those games at gorgeous. the time the the, the the graphics were Super. gorgeous. They were more I don't know, I never played one. Games, Classics, never played one. Yeah, you know, classes. again, the enemies in Final <laughs> Fantasy games usually are hand-drawn artwork that were just digitized. And so, are they? 
to put that in HD, to have someone redraw those in HD, I think would be amazing. Now, if they do it right, don't do it anime style or anything like that. Oh, do it what? Whoa. the classical art style that they've used throughout the Final Fantasy series. It's a little saucy. Do that and do those graphics yeah. in HD, I think that would be Don't amazing. do anime style. Don't anime style. What a guilty Next gear Next question. Uh, dear DSP, I was wondering uh -oh. if Machinima were to offer you a job working for them in L.A., just like they did to Sha Sha right. Sean Anders and Hutch, would you take it Sean and why? Sean Anders. the good work and... This question is from Beaner Mania. Great choice of name. Okay. Okay. So here we go. All right. First prediction for <laughs> Atlas. If you were offered a job by Machinima to work in California, whatever the fuck he said, would you do it? No. Yeah. I think this has to be no, right? Well, here's the, I, what's gonna... the reason? I love what I'm doing here, I guess. What else could it be, right? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I was like. I'm my own <laughs> boss. I love what I'm doing. You guys love what I'm doing. Why would I want to stifle what I'm doing to do something that, you know, isn't what I want to do? Like that. Yeah, not, nothing else you could say. Um, the answer right now is no. <clears throat> <laughs> Even if Michelle mm. were to offer me a full-time job to move out there, I would say no. Because honestly, right now, I'm loving what I'm doing. Yeah. I hey, really it's, it's really not even money. a question. I don't have to have me on a set schedule. I, don't, I have freedom in my life to do things, to go on trips whenever I want, to do things whenever I want. So no, yeah, how's no that going for you? Trips go whenever you want. Right Thinking about oh, going yeah. to Japan. <laughs> job. The only way I would do it is if, go like, to Seattle now. A significant increase in what I'm making right now. God, dude, yeah. it's like a war zone. Why would you want to go probably, there? Come on. You know, I really doubt that they were going to that Machinima, especially you know, just to work on a website and put up videos, would pay me you know, a ridiculous amount of money or anything to, to, to do that. It's probably going to be a standard salary, similar to what I had when I had my old uh, job, uh, which actually was a pretty decently paying job. So, oh. I know, unless it was a ridiculous amount of money, I wouldn't consider going back to a set schedule. That would be pretty nuts. Look down. A little silly to be bragging about a job salary that you lost, if you ask he, me. That's not a flex. <laughs> he's No, he has to flex on everything. He can't have anything that you can make fun of. Like, even back then, I was making a lot of money, guys. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted um, here, okay? Next question. Dear Phil, oh. I've been looking around at old Evo tournament results. Oh, we're blazing. Back when you used to participate yeah. and actually kick everyone's ass. I noticed... Hold on okay. a second. What was that? He, like, laughed like, yeah, yeah, of course. I was kicking ass. Yeah. Uh, old Evo really thing to do. Um, okay. Next question. Dear Phil, I've been looking around at old Evo tournament results. Back when yeah. you used to participate and actually kick everyone's ass. <laughs> I noticed that your name Oh, yeah. <laughs> he laughs that right off. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was just kicking everyone's ass. <laughs> He got fourth place one year. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Kicking everyone's ass. I was listed dude. as DXP. Ooh, yes, I'm that's really true. I'm really confused. Is this a typo, or is yes, there another that's person true. with the same real yes, name that as is you? True. You know, I want to know more about your fighting game history, but I keep seeing two different names. It doesn't make sense. And okay, if you want to so know, you got to watch the Dead Sea Scrolls, obviously. Yep. DXP was his first screen name before even DSP. It was DXP. Uh, I'm assuming that's from DX. I don't let you know where he got the name from, so I'm assuming it's DX tie-in. You know how Phil loves wrestling, but we'll see here. <laughs> yeah, was, I, that's Ingram. what I assumed as well. Um, <laughs> well, the bottom line is, is that hey. at one hey. point in the fighting game community, uh, as you know, I've always were like a controversial figure. I was always hated on because I spoke my mind. And so, you know, oh my I God. Did really, really well in fighting games. I spoke like, my so mind was Evo a piece of shit. Fourth place at Evo, <laughs> the National in Vegas. Um, people started to listen up to what I had to say. And so I would... No, 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 that never happened. What is this? <laughs> Hold on, what? People started to listen to what I was saying? If you make fun of any stream chatter, Derek or otherwise, you're a fucking loser. Trying to live in that fictitious. timeline. Big Up's fictitious. It is great. It is great. Thank you, sir. Really Look well at your fighting game tournaments and spoke my yeah. mind. And uh -huh. so, you know, when I first started doing really, really well in fighting game tournaments, and like you said, winning Evo East, and I placed fourth place at Evo, the National in Vegas. Okay, yeah. Um, Can't people started that. to listen up to what I had to say. And so I would say stuff no. No that listen. would be truthful, but sometimes hurtful, but sometimes very controversial. And people just started hating on me so much to the point where, like, I was like, all right, that's it. I, I can't take it anymore. So I kind of changed my name temporarily. Um, oh, this is complete lies. He is completely lying. He he. Only reason he changed his name is because he got banned. What? This is like the, the most got, bold lie. He got banned for uh, posting schlong on the forums. Was yeah, that he it? did. Well, that was one. Another one was uh, outwardly trying to get people to go to his forums. They banned him yep, four yep. different times. What? This is complete lying. Like, this is, like, not even, like, you can swing it. You can, maybe it's a bending of the truth. This is just a lie. I was like, all right, that's it. I, I can't take it anymore. So I kind of changed my name temporarily. Uh. 
and DXP, as silly as it is, stood for Degeneration X Phil, because, uh... <laughs> Degeneration yeah, yeah, X the, Phil. <laughs> that's the confirmation as, of, as far as I needed it, yep. you know? Yep, as silly as it sounds. He was already thinking wrestling was silly back then. Like, what are we doing here? But he still had smart guys at this point. Like, is wrestling silly or not? If you like it, it's, you like it. It's crazy you know to me that he he thinks all of the shit that he does is silly and then he likes it and does it anyway, but is actively embarrassed. Just like the bubbles. He loved the bubbles all the way up until yeah. people started making fun of it. And now it's stupid and silly and retired. Like, yeah. why don't you just like something and own it, dude? It's not that big a deal. I know. If I mean, you clearly like wrestling, man. At least just I like wrestling. I don't give a shit if anyone hates on me for it. I like wrestling. Go ahead. I like I sip on cat. I take more shit than anyone. <laughs> I'm proud <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah, that's kind of a crazy <laughs> take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of it. No, I've changed my stance. Now WPIG, we celebrate the past. What once was. That's my that's what WPIG's mission statement. Celebrating the past. And I think it stands. As silly as it is, stood for Degeneration X Phil. The past does because, stand. We watched uh, it today. I was a fan of the Degeneration yes. X. Oh, how's your stream today? How did it go today? Oh, I saw your streaming earlier. Uh, Great. Fantastic. It, it, uh, it, yeah, well, it degenerated into just shooting the shit in all honesty. The, this no, is how you fine, don't though. play if Cat is, you, you know, it's it's Cat. She doesn't have the most personality. And you've seen the Valentine's Day stream. There's not a whole yeah. lot going on. Mm, that was so. the worst stream of all time. And I'm definitely not restreaming tonight, everybody, because that I can't handle it. I cannot handle that fucking Dendoko Island. That's the worst stream <laughs> of all time. Uh, you know, stable <laughs> in WWE wrestling. In the 90s, and then as actually when they came back uh, after mid 2000s, so I started actually wearing DX clothes. Yeah, I was wearing DX shirts, DX See? hats, Why you tournaments and stuff, and I was still doing yeah. really well. In That's fact, what I'm saying. If you like it, you like it, bro. It's yeah. fine. I, know. I like all sorts I mean, of stupid shit. <laughs> this is like even more cringy than, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just. That's just like maximum cringy. Like even worse than liking something cringe. Like wrestling's not cringy to like. If people like wrestling, it's totally cool. But I'm saying like pretend you like something cringy. It's even more cringy to like it, but say, like, yeah, I know it's silly, but I just like it. Like, you kind of can make anything into being normal if you say, yeah, I like, fuck it, I like it. Yeah, I like, uh, I like the, I'm trying to think of something. I'm trying to think of something. I love, I love trash like. music. Like, yeah. just like, uh, rappers that don't make any sense and just are, just say the most outlandish shit. I love that. That's something I enjoy. And when people ask me, I'm like, yeah, listen to this. And then they come back, like, what is this? Like, it's garbage. I love yeah. it. Like, yeah. whatever. Be proud of it, man. Just be at least have that little bit of backbone, you know. <laughs> a win at Evo, two, Evo East 2007, where I beat Seth Killian in the finals of uh, Super Turbo. You'll see I'm wearing a DX hat, and they actually showed that in the video. So you can check that out if you're interested. We watched that last week, actually. But eventually, or was that last week? I can't remember what he watched. Well, this week we watched that video where he did win Evo East, which was a qualifier to get to Evo. I kind of after 2007, I laid off fighting games for a long time. Uh, it was almost like two years until I really returned to fighting games officially with the return of Street Fighter 4. Oh, God. And uh, then I said, you know, when I was on Unretired YouTube, I was for the 900th time there, there, Tom Brady. You know, you're so cool. There was cool. no controversy surrounding it like there was in the fighting game community. So, and then I just, you know, went back to that. Okay. All right, next question. Just Dear Phil, I'm a longtime fan and wanted your opinion on something. I've heard you say a couple of times. So that that by the way, that that answer was so long because you couldn't just say like, yeah, I used to do Generation X. I used to do Generation X Phil. I just wanted to do that. He had to go that whole fucking way to like prove it wasn't like as cringy as some people might have thought. I guess I don't know. So you're a fan of Whatever. Conan O'Brien. That's that the power of the pig, dude. I forgot the question. I don't know how he manages <laughs> to do that every time. I, I, I actually forget the question. I'm on the show. <laughs> All right, next question. Dear right, Phil, I'm a longtime fan and wanted your opinion on something. Oh, yeah, good point, Misery Merchant. Uh, of course, they were jealous of his YouTube success. That's why I ever got pissed at him. Remember that? How many different reasons have people started to hate Phil over the years? Like, legitimately. So this one was because what? He spoke his mind and people didn't like that? We heard that just mm -hmm. now today. It's been because they were jealous of his YouTube success. Uh, because of Evil AJ, of course. That's that's three right there off the top of my head. There's been many more. Those right? are the three that come to mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You say a couple times that you're a fan of Conan O'Brien. Oh, that Conan O'Brien fan. Uh, no, I wanted to know what you think of his show. Well, he wrote for yes. Simpsons. I found he that out. Better than a show one on time. NBC that he had a year ago. <laughs> are you still angry at what NBC did to him? Thanks for your time, Mr. Warhawk417. First of all, of course I'm angry at what NBC did to him. Oh. They completely wow. screwed oh. him. And for those who don't know the story, here's what Didn't happened. Expect this. I don't. Jay Leno was the host of The Tonight Show. Yeah, okay? okay. And then right after that show ended, 
was Conan O'Brien's show. Okay. okay. Late Night with Conan O'Brien. And it was like this for over a decade. And actually, I think it was actually 15 years or something like that. And then finally, Whoa. they were grooming Conan O'Brien and saying, listen, Jay Leno is eventually <laughs> going to retire. We want <laughs> grooming, to grooming him. Slot because you're younger. <laughs> is he 16 too? <laughs> and so this is what they've been doing all along. Okay. Now, Jay Leno didn't want to leave. And then NBC told Jay Leno, listen, it's time. We've decided your ratings have been slumping. We want you to retire. And we want Conan to take over for you. So that's exactly what they did. But... Jay Leno put up a stink and said, listen, I've been dedicated to you for so long. I want my show still. I want a show. I love being on TV. Regardless okay. of the fact that he's filthy rich, for him it wasn't about the money. He just wanted to be on TV. So okay. they gave him a show money. earlier than his previous time slot that actually led into the Conan O'Brien Tonight Show. And what ended up happening was there was a giant split now in who was watching what because people were like, gee, do I watch The Tonight Show because I'm a fan of it? But now I did not close, expect to get I this today. The Jay Leno Show. But I, but I didn't even in. know this existed, so how could I expect that Jay this? Leno show actually wasn't pulling in <laughs> this is before I was born. I don't know. What do you want from me? People were saying, <laughs> me listen, when you used to have other shows on TV like dramas and comedies, they would pull in ratings and people would stay watching to watch The Tonight Show afterwards. People uh -huh. are now actually watching, turning off their TVs when Jay Leno comes on in this earlier time slot because it's not that good of a show. Oh. So there was all this okay. controversy surrounding what was going on, and finally NBC says, eh, well, we're not getting as, as good ratings either on Jay Leno's show or on Conan's show. Let's just undo everything we just did. So they completely fucked over Conan O'Brien and basically okay. said, gee, do you want to go back to a later time slot? And he said, no, you've been telling me for 15 years you're grooming me to be the host of The Tonight Show. You only give this to me for like eight months, and now you think you're going to take it back? Are you an Indian giver? Like, this is so disrespectful. <laughs> I basically told NBC, <laughs> Are you an Indian you. giver? I'm That's leaving. Correct. I've had enough of your very shit. Weird so he did, and now he's on TBS. I've never heard of it. Indian giver? Um, I think the show on TBS is good. <laughs> People don't say it anymore. That's for sure. I don't watch it every night. I, watch I, it every I can almost while, understand why. Conan yeah. Every night when he used to be on NBC either. Yeah, I don't think Indian giver is not being used like any time past like 2000 and. 15, I don't know. <laughs> the Indian giver. Um, yeah, that's that's the year I was born, so that makes sense. That's why I never heard it. He yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> year, crazy. Guests, it's not like his guests have dried Let up. Let me know when that bit runs its course. I'll quit. Well, they will never. <laughs> that he is friends personally with a lot of celebrities. So a lot of big-name celebrities like Tom Hanks, Will oh, Ferrell, Hanks. go on the show frequently, and so it makes Ooh. him look good. So... I've never I, even understood the, the appeal of tonight that shows in that. So I eventually I hope that maybe yeah. he does make it back to the you know standard cable yeah, channels, really. not the you know TBS, the land of what fucking channel is TBS on on my TV? Oh, TBS. I don't even know, but the Gups. Very I think funny. It's working out. Good, ch good chance for sound clips. But right for him, now. I just I, I am still disappointed with what NBC did, and it just goes to show NBC did the same thing with Howard Stern. They fucked him over, then they fuck over Conan. They don't know how to treat talent. They're unprofessional idiots. Ooh, yeah. That's, I know this because I am also talent. <laughs> a triumphant sip. Yeah. People don't know how to treat the talent, all right? I hope of ever having a show on NBC. Let's continue. Me, Conan. Me, Conan, Jay Leno, Howard Stern. We're all the same. We get fucked over, dude. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Porsche's up in the Yeah, he puts says, himself up there. Oh, God, yes. He says he's like Tom Cruise. Remember that time? <laughs> Oh yeah, like yeah, Tom yeah! Cruise. You gotta treat your talent, Tom yeah. Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> he claims that the FGC didn't like him because he was a truth sayer and a whistleblower. That's true too. That definitely good, good shout there. Uh -huh. Another reason. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about oh, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Justin TV and their streaming abilities, and Justin now that they've TV. changed over to Twitch TV, if I would consider going over there, and actually, oh, no, this is the pre yeah, Justin TV changed to Twitch TV, and now maybe just just happened. Sounds like a fan called Komaru. Posted up this detailed diagram with description how I could possibly set up a live stream here and explaining to me that now they have a revenue share. Okay, we're going to get bottom line here 100%. Program and a lot of people who do it full I would bet my life on there. You got to see the bottom line because he's, he, oh, he's setting it up here, right? Someone explained how I could do this and all this stuff and how it would be so great for me. But then he's to go to why he can't do that. He always uses bottom line. I'm very confident. I'm streaming. I that. hope we're getting the combo. It's funny because the bottom line is. That's what <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping for. I want the combo. And in, but in the meanwhile, we got a robust harvest and look. So we're get, we're digging right but now. Share program and a lot and of people who do it full digging. time streaming. Are look. Check it. <laughs> Oh, that was the harvest. How robust <laughs> is the harvest? Probably Are we saving it? it? Oh. Your full -time Stuck in the fingernail. <laughs> um, 
I appreciate the effort. Here we go. But the thing is, if you go no! look at this guy, if you look at the... He said, but the thing is, that's going to take the place uh, of it. Damn it. Um, I appreciate the effort, but the thing is, if you go Fuck. look at this guy, if you look at the, the last Ash the King thread, <laughs> this post from Kumaru, wait, it's so complicated, what he explains. He's like, well, you need to get an HTTP VR, you need to get a microphone, you need to get this, you need to get this program to encode, you need to get this program to stream, and you need to do this and this and this and this and this, and I got a fucking headache reading it. Like, oh. What I'm doing right well, that's because you're regarded, dude. Uh, like, the, so I listen. can't believe. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, no, I'm gonna, you go first. I, was, <laughs> I, I cannot believe how incapable he is of doing the bare minimum when it comes to streaming. He, he's not even I, like I found this out this week when he was talking about his new pop filter. Uh, yeah. He's not even familiar with what microphone he has. Like, oh, yeah, doesn't even pop, know yeah. what the mic is. Or what pop filters actually are made for. Because his is so far away from his mouth. There's no chance of any pop peas coming yeah, to yeah, that Yeah, 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 because he sits 100 filter. feet back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't know what an one. XLR is. No. Like, he's not familiar with any of the equipment. It's insane to me. And this is, again, another chance where he could have got ahead of the curve. Dude, this is a fan telling him exactly what he needs to stream. If he started streaming earlier, who knows what could happen? Yeah, it could have been nothing. But this fan is trying to get him ahead of the curve, being one of the first people on Twitch. You know, Twitch was just kind of starting out here. Imagine if he did that. But, uh, yep, of course, it's too much work. I got a headache. I can't do it. Another chance lost because he's too fucking lazy. That, that's it, you know? It's it's insane. It's just <laughs> insane how many opportunities get placed in front of him for him to do nothing with. Uh huh. And I got a fucking headache reading it. Like I got a headache. What I'm reading doing right it. now is ideal for me. I yep. To oh, that's it. Enjoy games. Level one Not is super so much, comfortable. You know, I love I've it. Set here. up a fucking huge technical, complicated system here to record the games. I put a camera down. I play the game. I do commentary, and I think that's what people like. They like it simple. That's for me easy to go enough. super complicated and everything. Keep it simple, stupid. Up, do the same I'm thing forever. Sure. I'm so sure how that would go down. Also, keep in mind, I have friends like Howard, and Chris <laughs> Doyle, who do stream. They could stream from a, a stream set. Uh, Howard. I'm not so sure. I'm so sure how that would go down. Also, keep in mind, I have friends like Howard and Chris Doyle who do stream. <laughs> <laughs> they could stream from my place if they wanted. They have the hardware to do it. I'm just really not that interested in it right now. That doesn't what? mean that in the long term, in the future, that something might change. But for now, I'm happy doing what I'm doing on YouTube, and there's really no reason for me to even, you know, look into streaming. So, okay, that's that. Got it. Um, okay. Next yep. question. No reason to stream. Hey, Phil. Your playthrough of Catherine was one of your most addictive playthroughs to watch oh, so Catherine. far. Because it was a really compelling story. Yo, shout out, know, Catherine. I always wanted to know what was happening next, but I actually skipped the gameplay. I didn't so much uh, like the gameplay, and I found it repetitive. Do you think that the story of a game is more important than gameplay? And does it make it easier for you to comment on a game when a story is great? Ooh, ooh, uh, can, can, can we guess on this one? Can yes, we guess on this one? Go ahead first. Because I, I'm very opinionated that I think the game... I personally think that the gameplay is so much more important than every other aspect of a video game. Yep. Um, but I... I think that he's going to say that the story is more important because it's it's uh um because it allows him for uh commentary style situations that make it more more betterer for him i i'm saying he's gonna do what he always does and fence it and say both are equally important that's what I mean. Oh, that's, he's gonna be that. Yeah, you know bitch, what? That fucking bitch. He always does it. He's gonna say it's a safe. It's safe. Need a little bit of both. You know, he's gonna do that. Watch. Here we go. From Latvia, oh. and that is from Arkanoids Three. I'm gonna be um, pissed, Alt. <laughs> absolutely. When the story of a game is a gripping story or an interesting story, it makes it a hell of a lot more yeah. easy to comment on. I mean, just look at a game again, like Heavy Rain, where people are still saying it is probably my best playthrough of all time. <laughs> They're still saying that. <laughs> It Been a fan since. Yeah. Yo, okay. <laughs> Speaking of topical style, um, did ahead. you see that he addressed his um, gamer style moment in Heavy Rain today? Oh, I, no, I didn't. You didn't keep up today. Yeah. No, so he, he's going to watch it tomorrow, because... right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to watch it tomorrow on the Sunday throwback style react. And he told everybody that he's aware of it and that it was um, totally cool back then. And now it's not OK because he's white. But back then it was fine. So it's we're just going to glaze over it. It's going to be totally fine and nobody address it. 
Wow. That's that's the solution. Okay. That's how we're gonna go over that. Uh, people called him out on that in the comments of the videos. Then I'm trying to find. I'm not sure what exact episode it was, but I, I can't remember when he actually said it. But dude, they people called him out for it then, and so let's not get that. Let's not forget about that. And yeah, he was still white then, and <laughs> yeah. he didn't change races. <laughs> Sadly. No, ALT. <laughs> Racism was totally cool in 2010. Oh, I wasn't okay. alive, but that's yeah. what I've been told by the guys. So it must be true, right? We were throwing around N-words all over the place. Me and my fellow white guys were just throwing them out. <laughs> it was totally cool, dude. We never would get our ass kicked if we did that. Nope. The story was so gripping. You had unique characters, okay? You cared about who you really were interested in because their stories were being fleshed out. You had a mystery, a murder mystery. You really didn't know what oh, was going mystery. on. At the t on t on t top of all of that, there were other things going on that also were kind of confusing. And it was really like in the course of the game, you're trying to piece together in your head what's going on in this in this game. And uh, uh, oh, uh, Jesus! I, because the story was so good, oh I really felt God. that it was Double. gripping. It was good enough to be able to do commentary over what was going on. Now there are other games. That's actually fucking hard to do commentary on. Um, oh, really? Games that are really serious. Um, games that maybe don't have much of a story. Those kind of games get difficult to comment on because you can't really comment on people who aren't talking or whatever. Um, or another game like Phoenix, on the game right? Play. Sure, that game mm -hmm. was a good playthrough because I was narrating it, but it was hard to do commentary because I was already narrating it. So it was me talking, 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 and then me talking over my talking. A game like that's really hard to do commentary <laughs> on. So. Talking, talking, that's talking. <laughs> Talking over That's my his talking. dream, dude. He yeah. he loves yeah. wasting oxygen. It's like a full time job for him, actually. So that's he hasn't answered the question we kind of guessed about. Yeah, games with story, story is very important. Okay, <clears throat> but unless you're playing something that's really a hardcore style of game. So if you're playing hardcore a hardcore style. FPS, a hardcore puzzle game, you don't need a good story. But a good story always adds to the overall quality of the game, ah. and uh, it definitely helps me to do good commentary. Uh, because it gives me something to work with. Come on. Um, a lot of people ask me, did I watch Evo this year? Uh, he forgot the question. A lot of people. I he said, What's important? Yeah, he didn't even answer. All well, right, he said he said the story is very important, and then it goes, unless it's hardcore. So I guess you're right. He, he fenced that a little bit. That's okay. fine. Whatever. I I'm angry. It's fine. I would have figured this out by now, but no, I did not. Um, okay. Damn. I've said previously. Just call him regarded, dude. It's in, fine. Uh, videos that I'm just really not that interested in the current generation of fighting games, all right? Ooh. Street Fighter 4, Marvel 3, Mortal Kombat 9. Not to say that they're okay, horrendous bang. You're games stupid that for that one. worthy to be played. I just don't like them that much. I, I don't like them, dude. I kind of long for the time when I had was going to this arcade called Tokyo Game Action in Rhode Island. And that was in, like, probably oh. 2007. <laughs> and we were playing... <laughs> big ups, Vike. Says, big ups, Atlas, on the massively long day of pig talk. Absolutely. Atlas is going for a marathon today. Super Turbo. I almost went on detractor beam for the the pre stream, but I was oh. out when they asked, so <laughs> I could have. I really could have did it all day. <laughs> full day. Capcom versus SNK two, Marvel versus Capcom two. Those games have been out for quite a long time. They had an established following. The gameplay had been fleshed out to the point where it was advanced enough, where you had to learn these games to really okay, be good at them. Like these games today, and I'm going to comment on this, and I don't take this the wrong way. There was an eight-year-old kid named Noah at Evo this year. Okay. He played with My two God. buttons, and he almost made it to the winner's finals bracket, okay? What the fuck? Let's just think about this. A game that's well, so thinking. easy to play and so ridiculously easy in, in inputs and in gameplay and obviously abusiveness of gameplay that an eight-year-old who presses only two buttons almost qualified in the winner's bracket of his pool. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like this that's is a similar everyone. situation to, um, you know, he's always talking about pattern play in that, you know, and if, if it's so easy, you know, yeah. and you know, he's going to press these two buttons. Why is nobody not able to do something about this? Like, what? Yeah. come on. Uh, it that's, seems that's pretty, like... pretty straightforward. And yeah, it, it kind of, it just feels like he even, uh, first of all, I guarantee the kid's not using two buttons. Let's just get that straight first oh yeah, yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying second he might have used like the same strategy or something but still everyone else is equal playing field it's still like not everyone can do it clearly but let, let's watch this real quick let's watch this kid it's only a minute let's watch this kid come on Noah. badass do what phil could not do come on one button two buttons how many buttons is he using 
I saw more than two buttons right there. I feel like I saw three buttons at least. Yeah, look at him. He's got And he's got the stick. Look at this. Booing. If you feel like you're the other guy, you're kind of in a bad spot, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you going to beat a kid or are you going <laughs> to yeah. get beat by a kid? Kind of rough. Eight years old is kind of crazy, to be honest. As a, as a father yeah, of eight year old child, it's kind of crazy because, like, it means you got to play a lot of games. <laughs> oh, I remember being eight. It wasn't that long ago. I definitely would not. Like, I couldn't be on a stage like that. I'd have Which just shit. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, that's insane. Kid, maybe, maybe he does play it dedicated like everyone else who's a pro player does, but you shouldn't be able to win with two buttons. A game should be more complicated yeah. than that. Yeah. A game should require more skill, buttons. more practice than that. And I'm Apparently Noah's still playing Street Fighter. Oh, he plays Luke broken. now in Street Fighter 6. Big ups. Broken. Uh, so I'm no. not, you know, trying yeah. to downgrade this the, the, the level of skill that this kid has. Maybe this kid is outstanding at the game, but still, back in the day, you never saw an eight-year-old winning anything in a fighting game tournament. You know, it took Ooh. time, dedication, a maturity of mind. The games were <laughs> um, <laughs> pointing at his you know, cowboy time, hat. Dedication, a mature. Dude, this is the guy. Maturity of mind. This is the guy that was in his 30s saying that he has a like he was using a teenage mindset. Like, what uh -huh. are you talking about, man? Look at this, FGC. This is what you missed out on when you kicked him out. You could be like this. This could be you, Justin Wong. This could be you. Why? Hey, ladies, ask ask your boyfriends and husbands. Why can't this be you? <laughs> What's wrong with your man? They don't look like this. <laughs> The games were more complicated with the gameplay. The games today are far too simple and far too easy for someone to just jump in and be good at it. And the reason, again, I've said this before, they did it so that the common gamer who doesn't put a lot of time into games can be good at games. Ooh. They want you to feel like just because you play a couple hours every week that you can hang up there, you know, and, and actually hang with the people who are, have been playing hang games up for there. a decade. That's absolutely ridiculous. From I feel a like the kids play more than a couple hours a week, man. Uh, the yes. inputs are far too lax. The combos are far too easy to As do. As a gamer when now, I was a yeah, kid, I was definitely putting in a lot of time. Too. Sure, yeah. there were infinite. Sure, there were high damage combos, but they weren't easy to do. You had to really practice Ooh. to get those down. In Marvel 3, every fucking character has a 100% combo. Every character can hit you after one hit, and those combos are easy to do. They're not difficult to do. So the game is a piece of shit. It really is. They need really to fix this game, and hopefully with Ultimate Marvel 3, they'll fix those problems. I really am not very confident that they will, but the bottom line is I'm just not interested hey. in today's Adam. line of games. They're far too easy to play. The inputs are too lax so people can mash and get you know, reversals and special moves because they're not good at the game to be able to have the proper timing to really do those kind of things. There's no risk-reward anymore. 100% combos are all too prominent. The games aren't that good. It's really more of a spectator sport at this point. The games are fun to watch. Marvel 3 is a blast to watch. So I understand that you won't watch the stream. Those games were fun to watch, but they're horrible to play. From a competitive player standpoint, someone who's been playing games competitively oh God, since the long. original Street Fighter 2, the current line of fighting games I don't are remember bad. The original question. They're just not good in a competitive sense. Shut up. So that's why I didn't watch Evo. Okay, shut up. Sorry to have yeah. didn't watch Evo. <clears throat> Because, Vikes, I was looking at that, too, as Phil was rambling on. Noah's in the top 16 of Capcom Cup LCQ tomorrow. Nice. Top 16, like, literally oh. today. Also, he was, as as recent as last month, he was the top-ranked Luke in the world. So, uh, let's just say he's kept his skills up to the likes of which Phil could never touch. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So Yo, big up Noah. Like, Grind yeah. He's grinding. Yeah, and he has his YouTube channel. You know, he's he's still doing what he likes. Let's say it that way. And he's not big in a fucking soul. <laughs> Go off like that, but people consistently ask me the same. Watch me turn on this channel. He's like, "What's up, guys? Could use some help with the tips today." <laughs> <laughs> Noah, don't do that to me. Just kidding. Noah's a legend. He would not. Questions, do and I'm like, "No, I have no interest in watching Evo. I really don't." Oh yeah, I wonder okay. why. I wonder why. Now things may change. You've got a patch coming out for Arcade Edition. You've got a Ultimate Marvel Three. You've got Street Fighter versus Tekken. If things change. Maybe I'll get more interested to play these games in a competitive capacity 
at this point, I enjoy playing them. I'll still go to local tournaments and such to play them. No, but you won't. I have no interest yes, in playing will, a few more times. Okay. Okay. Couple more questions, and we're running out of time. Hey, did you imagine if he still went to local tournaments uh, to record and shit? That might actually <laughs> be something interesting. Uh, who's a fan of mine, by the way, is putting up some great videos on Oh, Gamer channel. Nicole, back at it again. Who? I just found out that Gamer Nicole. Oh, big ups, Gamer Nicole. Hello. She got herself a card. Good luck, Pooh. Who's out. a fan of mine, by the way. Is and she 100% very much doesn't know. Gamer Nicole uh, made uh, highlight videos of Philip. Consider subscribing to the channel. When, uh, and she so. when as soon as Panda was announced, uh, she went dark. And she said on Twitter, I don't think I can uh, comment on Phil anymore. And that was it. And that was the end of Gamer Nicole. Uh, so there we go. Big ups to Meth Bear. It's like fighting a woman in MMA competition. If you win, you're a monster and not a human. If you lose, you're a joke. Yeah, that's the tough point about fighting an eight-year-old. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't... You never look like a badass out of that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't... You can't look like a badass beating an eight-year-old. Like, yeah, all right, you took care of business. But if you lose, you look like a jackass, so. It's putting up some great videos on her channel, her YouTube uh, Speak channel. for yourself, check ALT. I'll beat the shit uh, out of an eight-year-old. That's what's uh, okay. up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Gamer Nicole, if you want to check Slap the shit out of him. What, what's, what, there what's we the go. Yeah, chat? that's what I it is. bitch of a kid. Uh, about the best I think she was 11, but yeah, long. she was also a girl. So an 11-year-old yeah. girl. <laughs> nice. Also, there's just been there's been two new music remixes that have been made. My question is, have you ever considered uploading these videos to your DSP gaming channel? Because Gamer Nicole's videos are hardly getting a, a thousand views each, while on your channel they would probably get ten times that amount. Great question and great. Okay, here's a good prediction. So Gamer Nicole, everyone doesn't know, made hi highlight videos. They got you know they got a, a little bit of views, but nothing close to, to Phil's views. Why will he say he can't do this, Atlas? I missed the question. I was reading okay. chat. <laughs> Atlas. Okay, here we go. Look, pay, pay attention. Keep up. I'm All right. So, Gamer Nicole made highlight videos on her own channel. Okay? And they were just of DSP only. So, the funniest DSP moments or whatever. Fa funniest moments from January, whatever. So, why c will he say that he can't... I I'm assuming he's going to say, no, I can't put her, her videos on my channel because she he never did. So, why do you think he's going to say he can't do that? Um, it, it's not the style of content that he, d oh, but he, but it was though. Damn it. Uh, but it's just man. highlights. So he might say that though. Yeah. People expect playthroughs. I think he might be on to something there. Yeah. That's what I was going to go with, but I know, didn't he do like DSP's top 10 racist moments of the year or yes, whatever? Yes, he did like... that too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, no, you know what he might say? I don't know if she even wants that. Like assume, like, I don't know if she wants that. I gotta, you know, she has to come, she has oh, to come to me. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Let's yeah. go with that. Collectively, let's go with Same that. Same goes for these music remixes. Uh, so, and then his second question, he says, oh, some people think that, oh, this is actually. Hello? I guess I didn't record that person's name, so I apologize for whoever asked that question. I didn't write down your name. Um, well, get right, shit on. I can't even get a shout out. Mine. I don't own them. There we go. No, I don't have the videos uh, and I don't own them. Um, could I re upload them on my channel? Sure, I could ask, but that's kind of like stealing the views. That's not fair. Uh, but what I do do is I try to favorite those videos. What I do do. Gamer Nicole, I actually put in one of um, in my other channels section on my page ah. to try to get her more views. And now I've talked about her a couple times, so I hope that people do check out her stuff. It's really cool. What she does is she takes the funniest moments from my gameplay for each month for her, in her opinion, anyway, and she makes a montage. So if you missed some stuff, this is a good opportunity. You watch her 10 minute What did they to clarify in her opinion? Say, oh, uh -huh. In her that opinion. Funny, you go check it out in her opinion. Sometimes I don't agree, yourself. by the way. It's a really cool way for I me. I was like, casting to some doubt on that. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I'm doing as well. So. Yeah, sometimes I watch him, yeah, I think it's yeah, shit, but it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's her whatever. opinion. Check it out. Her YouTube, her YouTube channel is Gamer Nicole, and she's got some really good uh, montage videos of my stuff. As for the music remixes, what I try to do is favorite them and put them in my favorites. So if you ever want to see what new remixes are my out, favorites. what new videos or are out YouTube for my fans, feature. check my favorites and you'll be able to find those. Yeah. Okay? Can't do that anymore. The next question. So yeah, real I'm quick, have to believe you. I did see that he did shout her out. For great montage of my best moments, check out Gamer Nicole's channel. And in case anyone didn't know, here's Gamer Nicole. Uh, let's try to find one about oh. this time. So August... Let's check out. We're not gonna watch this whole fucking thing. It's 13 minutes. Let's watch. Let's watch this one a little bit. Here we go. Gamer Nicole. Yeah. Highlights. August Nicole. Don't look down. What happened? 
Where am I? Oh, Bastion. Big ups. I've never played this. Yo, where am I? I've never played this either. I've seen it all the time, though. Yo! Yo. Where am Yo. I? Yo, they spawned me behind a building. I can't see where the fuck I am. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't. They spawned me behind the buildings. What am I supposed to do? You prefer the ha 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 or the ack ack ack. Uh, I'm, I'm a purist. Are you fucking I like serious? I can't get out. <laughs> I do too. Ho 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 sounds so too, uh, I can't see myself, and I don't, and there's no ground to walk on. Oh, is this just oh my god, I got out. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I find that a lot. Like, people, people find DSPs, like, reacting to a glitch really funny, and it's always just him, like, being confused, and I don't exactly see the humor yeah, in it, but that's not really I didn't know if that was because I was a tractor, or... I don't know. Is that... Okay, let's check out this one. Someone highlight this one. I will stick this horny hat up his ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rambo. Come on. I say it's Rambo, man. of course. You are just Rambo. fucking out of hand. Fuck. Uh, out of hand. All right. Well, you see, it's it's nonsense. If it's it's whatever. Okay. The next question is: Some people okay. think that working full time on YouTube is pretty stress free. I like to know if it's true. Do you ever feel stressed oh, to meet a deadline shit. for a game playthrough? Or feel you have an obligation to the I feel like we answer this question like every week. Josh. <clears throat> We're in trouble. We're in trouble now. Nine minutes left. I bet this is half of that. Oh. The only people who say that working on YouTube full-time is stress-free are people who don't work on YouTube full-time, and they probably yeah. want to, and they're Hell jealous man. of people who do it. It's oh, just as jealous. stressful as any other job. The only difference is Dude, I he made so much schedule. money. So uh, if I don't work hard, like it's disgusting lazy, how much money off, he made. I don't make as much money, and I only have myself to blame. Oh, so I don't constantly have a boss yelling over my shoulder at me to get stuff done. That's what? What is is this the is the universal boss yelling at you hand gesture? So I don't constantly have a boss. Yeah, the bunny over, ears. Yeah, cons, what is yeah. this? Over my shoulder oh, at me God, to get stuff there. done. That's really the only difference between what I'm doing. And having a full-time job or a salary job and having a boss and such like ah. that. Um, it's hard. It's hard to wake up oh on God. time every day. To <laughs> yeah, oh so you don't do God. it. <laughs> yeah. So you don't bother doing that. Okay, wake up at 11. Wait, got it. Hours. <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah, the only difference is you don't have a boss. But also you don't have to leave your house. You can wake up whenever you want and work <laughs> however long you want and break whenever you want. Seems you have uh, no criteria. You can yeah, also be dude, drunk. Come on. Be drunk doing your job. Also, just be drunk while doing it. Very cool. <laughs> Very normal. There's a game some days. Like, I've been doing with Day Use Sex. I've been playing over eight hours a day. Whoa. And then to be dedicated enough to put that footage on my computer, to set up the uploads, to babysit the uploads, to make sure that they work properly. Babysitting, shout out. Babysit the uploads. Oh, my As God. You know, if you've seen some of the processing issues, the naming issues of the videos, then once they're uploaded, Put them in a playlist. Order the playlist correctly because YouTube doesn't Ooh. order videos added to a playlist correctly because it's a piece of shit. Ooh. It's a lot of work and dedication. They probably don't required. expect you to so upload 35 videos in a day. Free. I yeah, do feel pressure on deadlines. Like right now, I have asked the king to do, I have a channel update to do. I want to do the new Call of Duty zombie map, but now I also have to get back to Deus Ex, but I also want to try Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, and I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now to get stuff done this week and not let it spill into the next week when there's new games coming out. So, so there are deadlines, there is stress. And there's so many games work, I have so, to play, I'm stressed uh -huh. out. Fuck to the haters, fuck you. You know, if you think that it's so Not easy, me. oh. Dude, again, no one said no one said this. This was a fan asking, by the way. It wasn't like a hater question. A fan said you'd feel stress during your game. That's it. And he, had, of course, immediately lashes fuck to out. Fuck the haters. Fuck you. Okay. You know, if you think that it's so easy, oh, yeah, well, Phil just sits on his ass and plays video games all day. I wish. I wish that it was me just sitting here playing video games and relaxing and not worrying about commentary quality, getting games done, getting the uploads done. It's not like that. It is hard work. And bottom line is if you're saying that, you either are you know, misinformed or you're just jealous. Okay, right, sounds good. Whatever. Whatever. Let's see here. <laughs> All right, so basically, I had a couple as someone who literally went to work questions. this morning, unexpected yes. style, I would have yes. much rather not done that and just did all my streams today, and 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 that have been it. That would have been yeah. much more robust for me. And also, he says like he has to worry about commentary quality. Uh, so does that mean he redoes it if he doesn't get quality up to snuff? No, he just says whatever happens in one take. That's good, <laughs> you know. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. That when's implies... he ever worried about quality? Yeah. He, he doesn't. He, there's no quality. You just say whatever you want. That's it. Whatever quality comes out, that's it. That's right. I got about five minutes left. So the Twitter five minutes question. Left, dude. 
This one's from Alienator789. He says, what's your favorite part about being on YouTube with dedicated fans? Oh, my God. Um, these questions. Two things. Jesus Number one, Christ. the outstanding fan feedback that I get. Oh, yeah. I'm watching. <laughs> my favorite day, thing is when fact. people fillet me. Yeah, I love what to hear how awesome <laughs> I am. That's my favorite. Videos. And I'm sorry, not watching videos. When I'm reading the comments on my videos, a lot of the fans actually give me tips give me pointers, explain, you know, things in the game. And I never used to have that. I just play the game and I get frustrated. Why can't I beat this guy? What is wrong with this? What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Now I have this interactive community who's watching what I'm doing almost live and giving me feedback. And a lot of the times that ends up helping me in the long run uh, playing these games. So I love that. I love that ability. And then number two, that. the positive responses that I get. It's really good. <laughs> what? To me, that's the same man. answer twice, it's the same isn't it? Thing. I love when people tell me how awesome I am, and also I love the positive feedback I get. Huh? <laughs> well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I guess the first one wasn't when they tell me how awesome I am. It's they tell me how I'm being bad at the game, so uh, I can be good, and I didn't have to look it up. That's uh, the uh, okay. that's the first part there. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I put in hard. Work I love being handheld, <laughs> and I love being uh, sucked off. It's super okay. robust. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. I get a positive response. Okay, um, got it. Got and a lot it. of the times, a lot of people don't get that. They work their asses off at their jobs. They bust their ass, and they never even get so much as a thank you from their boss. They don't get raises. They don't get bonuses. They don't get anything. And then oh. their boss, oh, you should just be happy to have a job. Fuck you to people who say you should just be happy to have a job. You should <laughs> have the ability to enjoy what you do for a living. Everyone yeah. should. And it's not fair that there are people who bust I their suppose, ass. I suppose, but I am happy I can pay my bills regardless. I, yeah, I, 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 mean, I try, try and be world. grateful, man. Yeah, I mean, a perfect world, yeah, it's not like wrong, but it's easy for him to say this. What he found this, you know, let's say, let's call it Fell an Fell into this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What they do. And he they found the infinite money glitch. Uh -huh. He did their jobs. I'm speaking from experience because it's happened to me in the past, Ooh. so. It's happened to me. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm extremely grateful that people give me the feedback they do, and I'm extremely grateful that people give me praise. Um, next question is from B. Huggin, and he says, With all the games that you play and the videos you upload throughout the year, approximately how much do you pay for your light bill? He must be in the electric bill. And that's a good question, Dumbass. but it's actually funny. I probably oh. don't pay as much as you think. Is this how old is this person asking this question? Like, at, be what ten to ask this question? With you playing games so long, what? Is, how much is your electric bill? Like, how old do you have to be to even question this? Ten when you don't understand how yeah. electric bills work? <laughs> yeah, because you, <laughs> you can like just being a, a, a household <laughs> operator, you can just kind of <laughs> guesstimate. Like, it's not. Must <laughs> be the electric bill. And that's a good question, but it's actually funny. I probably don't pay as much oh, as you funny. think. Even during the most busy months of the, the summer where I have the AC pumping all the time, I only spend, I think the most I've ever spent was like 230 maybe $250 for electricity. Oh God, okay. You know, when it's not a, a, a high it's summer, it's not a $100. Probably like $130. That is quite a bit, especially 2011. Yeah, that's a lot to me. Damn, what is he doing? Wow. It's not that bad. Yeah, I've got Unless, a fraction of the bill for the, for my electric, and I, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm running some PCs in that. So yeah, I do too. I don't pay. I don't pay close to that. Hundred dollars, probably. Like <laughs> yeah, I got for the household but, too. Uh, the last that's question. that's telling though, oh. because that's cheap to him. That's you know, it's not yeah. that much. You know, like that shows uh -huh. you how much money he's raking in. What is he? I guess. I mean, I'm assuming he never. He never p turns off anything, but still, he's a fucking apartment, a little piece of condo thing. What could he have on there? That's really weird. Would you be interested in meeting with a fan? That's kind of insane, because even if you had the AC pumping, like, it's not that big. No. I, I, I bet he's, like, miss, miss, like, he's, maybe he's talking about everything combined, electric, water. I yeah, know, maybe, because I know those, when I lived in an apartment, it was, like, all included in that, and yeah, they, yeah. you could just kind of, like, here's the actual apartment, these are kind of what your utilities would cost, so it's roped yeah. in style. It has to be that. Meet you, like through the Make a Wish Foundation, and that's from Kool Aid. <laughs> Make what? a wish? <laughs> Hold on, we gotta go back. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta go back. Make a wish? It's probably like $130, $140. Okay, so okay. It's not that bad. Uh, the last Twitter question uh, Would you be interested in meeting with a fan with an illness that wanted to, to meet you, like through the Make a Wish Foundation, and that's from Kool Aid? <laughs> God. Fan. 
Of course. I mean, that's a of no brainer. If, if there was a I'm holding him to this. <laughs> ALT, mark my words. If I ever get sick, this is it. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll make sure it happens. I'm gonna meet the guy. <laughs> who was that dedicated to me and really, you know, they, if it was their wish to meet me and spend a day with me and hang out, maybe do some gaming, absolutely I would absolutely. consider that. Um, and I can't, obviously it would depend on, on the reality of it, you know, if the kid what? could realistically get here or whatever, but... There's no, I mean, that's crazy. If anything, I'm extremely flattered to be asked that question because I couldn't imagine anyone who would think that I would be their wish for Make-A-Wish Foundation. I would think someone who, like a TV celebrity or someone who, you know, Dude. a famous, per, the president, I want to meet, or, you know, a lot of people say John Cena because he's the biggest person in wrestling right now. That's the kind of stuff I would think for but that. John Cena does so about. many Make-A-Wishes, it's insane. Yeah, that would make sense more, but DSP, like, thinks, I know he's trying to talk it down here, but I bet he he wishes it could be. Phil would be the guy you would want to meet, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually very well, he's, he's got one, question. guaranteed, like I said, I'm right here. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah, would he upload I'll let you it know to his when. channel? <laughs> Big guy, good question. <laughs> <laughs> he would monetize it. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> he would damn right he monetize it. Make a wish would be huge in that thumbnail. <laughs> now, I'm running out it'd be, of time. It'd be a 10 minute segment split into 30 <laughs> second parts with six yeah. ads. Uh -huh. So I have two quick questions that were common questions that I want to address. Okay. Uh oh. Hugs in Recently, the a 20 year old kid died from playing video games. <gasps> oh. The reason he died is because yeah. he didn't move. For like eight hours, he's like he just sat like Is this. That's true. Literally like this. How do you know? I feel like I heard Let me this. Ask you something. Does anyone in their right fucking mind sit like this and not move? Even when I play games for extended periods of time, like Deus Ex, when between the parts, I don't just go oh oh and mash quickly. I you know okay, I'm playing. Uh oh, I need to take a break. So every uh -oh. twenty minutes. Okay, so I found it. Get out of here, Noah. Man dies from right, blood no. clot after marathon gaming. Uh, family of a 20-year-old British man. Oh, sh rip. British style detractors. Uh, he lived for, for his Xbox. I never dreamed he was in daily danger. Uh, young man died for deep vein thrombosis. He had probably been on all night. The computer at his desk on Facebook or gaming, one or the other. It said his front friend found him pounding his chest, but eventually fell asleep. Next morning, Chris and his friend were going to apply for jobs. <laughs> oh, God. And Chris collapsed outside the jobs. Okay, so no. No, he didn't die gaming. The, he, he went to the yeah, fucking he... job center and died outside there. So it could have helped. I mean, let's get it right. But So really, the job center killed him. Getting yeah, a job is what yeah. did it to him. No, don't get a job, guys. It's that simple. <laughs> yeah. Just play games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're seeing. Okay, so yeah, so the guy the guy wasn't very mobile. So Phil could be doing this right now. Maybe I'll get up and walk For around sure. a little bit. You know, go get it. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I gotta see this. What? Walk around a little bit. <laughs> uh oh, I need to take a break. I think so he just shakes 20. his ass. Watch. Minutes, maybe I'll That's get up and like. walk around a little bit. You know, go get a drink. <laughs> I need to take Amazing. a break. So every twenty minutes, maybe I'll get up and walk wait. around. Shake. Shake. Get your heart out. <laughs> go get a drink. Go use the bathroom. Go check the internet. You can't just sit still. For the <laughs> go check the internet. Wow, really getting mobile there, dude. Watch out. <laughs> I gotta get active. Let me go check the internet. I'm out of time. And this kid obviously... No, I can't lie. When I'm drinking, <laughs> sometimes it is fun to just get up and stumble around for a second and sit back down and be like, that yeah. was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Good trip. Well, was loco until he died from a blood clot. And shame on his fucking parents Blood for letting him sit there like a fucking rock and not say, what the hell are you doing sitting there perfectly still? Like, they should know you have to move your body, so... And again, he's just assuming this perfectly still bullshit. Like, it... it okay, whatever. He's just assuming this kid stayed perfectly still. I'm not seeing anything about saying perfectly still. It's a shame that Yeah, that he happened, was a statue all night ridiculous. long. Yeah, no. Who the fuck is this from? That people are trying to blame video games for it. He could have been sitting there watching movies for 12 hours, and the same thing could have happened. So oh, he's fuck you to the here. stupid oh, God. who like to blame things on video games. Okay. Yep. Last but not least. Wow. He never looks cool GameStop. when he, like, clips people off. He always oh, looks like really? a huge dork. It's yeah. insane. The same thing could have happened. So Let's fuck you. Yeah. Watch out. Fuck you. To the stupid hey, Do you call all GameStop. your fingers when you flip Here's people off? or? I'm trying to think of... Let's, let's see where... I think he does raise it pretty high. Let's see. Last but not least, you. So the could have been sitting there watching movies for 12 hours, and the same thing could have happened. So fuck you.
I guess I do that. I curl them all under. Are you more of a halfer? You do like half nuck? Uh, yeah, I half nuck the index and I leave the thumb out. I can't be bothered. Okay. I think I curl them all. I'm more of a king of hate style. Yeah, look mm. at the look at the look at the emote at that Papi Chulo just did. That's what I do. That's what it looks like for me too. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. do that one. <laughs> Stupid media who like to blame things on video. It seems uh I don't know. Like you said, king of hate style. I just <laughs> yeah, yeah. King of hate You gotta style. really mean that one. <laughs> All right, Jay Wooster says, Mighty D, last tweet. Now you got me thinking. Let me check it out. What's he said? What's it says? What's the news? What's the scuttlebutt? Got to check it out. I'll check it out right now. Last but not least, controversy surrounding GameStop. Here's what happened. Deus Ex on the PC, the PC version of the game, is being sold with a coupon inside to get a free copy of the game over on live. Which is an online streaming service for video games, as you know. Oh, you guys remember on live? On live, yeah. So basically, you buy Deus Ex on PC and you get another free copy of it. When's the on live deep dive ALT? The higher ups at GameStop said, wait a minute, on live is a gaming service that directly competes with our business model. We sell physical copies of games, they sell digital streaming of games. Why are we going to allow this gaming company to promote? Our direct competitor in a product we're selling. So compare it to this: you go to Quiznos, and <laughs> Quiznos. Quiznos makes you a tasty oh, sandwich, bro. and they wrap it up. But on the wrap, oh, we get a sandwich metaphor. Sweet, 2011. That was my this time. Is, <laughs> this is a vintage. This is a vintage sandwich. Quiznos makes you a tasty Always sandwich, been a sandwich and they wrap shop. it up. <laughs> but on the wrapper of of the Quiznos sandwich is a coupon to get a free Subway sandwich at Subway. So that would be like, again, you're selling a product, and something in the product is giving away a competitor's product. It what doesn't the? make sense. So Okay, but this I is why this agree. analogy is stupid, right? Yes. Because when you went, so in this analogy, the game, the, the actual, not the analogy, but the actual physical thing, the GameStop has already sold the copy. They're not going to make any more money, whether you play the game, the physical style or online. Yes. There's literally no difference to them. They're not losing any more money by giving you a free digital copy. That doesn't even make sense. So no. it's just a stupid analogy. These sandwich analogies <laughs> never make sense. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> it makes sense. So I kind of agree. I can see their line of okay. reasoning at GameStop why they were upset that Eidos okay. didn't tell them. Number one, they didn't tell them they were going to put the coupons in the game. How do you know that? And number two, they did it without their knowledge or without their even asking. Okay. So here's yeah, GameStop. Same, same thing. How do you know that? Like he How has the background that? paperwork. He, sees, he read the contracts, obviously. Uh -huh. Can't read his own machinima thousand. contract, but he read the Eidos <laughs> contracts. Definitely. Don't you worry. Upon thousands of PC copies of the game, what do we do? What and the higher say, open the games, take the coupons out, and sell the games as new. That I don't agree with. If you're going to sell me a game that's games, take oh, they the did that with thousands upon thousands of PC copies of the game, what do we do? And the higher up say, open the games, take the coupons out, and sell the games as new. That I don't agree with. They didn't do that, right? That sounds very sus. If you're going to sell me a game that's that does open, sound sus. That sounds kind of illegal. Uh, fact check. I don't think they did that. GameStop. Anyone know? So, do I think they're wrong for taking the coupon out? I actually don't. From a business perspective, I can see why they did it. Oh, they did. Damn. Big lore there. So they did take them out. Wow, that is true. Oh, no. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing... Yes, it happened. Jesse, no, Battle that's Man, not actually... Brian they Baker, did. Yeah, I'm they seeing did. more yes. I'm seeing more yes. Uh-oh. We got a... I found the Mighty D tweet here. Just a little palate cleanser from this... Uh, oh, thank God. From this talk. We need to get the music going. Attack on Titan. <laughs> Chew will act. Oh, excuse me. Act, act on Titan. Yes. Chu will appreciate that one. <laughs> okay. When did she have her mouth that open? I never saw that. And I, I had the gift playing and I just, yeah. I never saw it. It was a yawn. It was, it was to look to the left. It was a yawn. It just, it's one of those moments where, I mean, it did. It, it, like I was watching the whole stream. I restreamed the whole stream and I didn't notice it. But if you pause at the right time, she got caught in a very big mouth moment. But hey, come on. I was trying to sell the game as new. They should have discounted those games and took the hit if they didn't want to promote their competitor per se. Or they should have worked it out with Eidos and said, Eidos, fuck you. Ooh. Give us a discount because you basically screwed us by putting this coupon in the games. And now we have to sell them at a discounted price. Don't hurt the consumer by charging us full price for an open game. Hurt the company who really hurt you, who's Eidos. Okay.
Okay. That was a lot. That's it for this edition of Master King. I'm about to run it's out actually, of time. Like, it was a lot, but it was a shorter episode. So Yeah, it was only yeah, it was only 29 minutes. Yeah, so remember I do these Because he has a lot to do today. Remember, he has to do his um, fucking channel update. Which I do oh, have, yeah, super, but super I don't important. care, really. It's a month, but there's a lot of other stuff <laughs> coming up. It's going to be a very important channel update with a lot of important info, so check that See? out. And then also, zombies today, if you're watching this on the day that this video comes out. So, stay tuned, and it's coming up later. Thanks. Thanks. All right, no, 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 that's next week. All right, so we do have the, um, oh, big ups to Vi oh, Yam Hut, who says, please show Ak Ak on Titan again. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'll show it to you. I can't not show it to you. All right, so we have a channel update. Before we get to Jake James, I mean, we could check out this channel update, but I want to watch the whole thing. Let's see the um, Twitter. What? Oh, yeah, let's see this intro. It's very odd. Okay, here, choose, Atlas, you choose the segment. Here's all the oh, segments. You still got you act up on screen right now. Oh God, you're right. Get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, your pool got Nugs. Pool got blo got cucked. Sorry about that, Nugs. Oh no. I'll give you a free one, Nugs. I'll do it for you. Hold on. All right. So here's the Atlas is choosing what segment we watch. You can only watch one segment of this. So we have Twitter. That's all I know. The Tester, Deus Ex Human Revolution, Copyright Strikes, Dark Dark Side Phil. With Dark Side F I L L and Hurricane or and PlayStation Magazine, which one do you want to watch? You could choose one second. Uh, then we're gonna go to Jake James uh, Hugo. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with copyright strikes. In all honesty, all right. I love. He, I know he's gonna be bitching, and I love <laughs> when he bitches. It's my favorite. Here we go. Copyright strikes. Let's go. So speaking of Dave Sex. Oh, oh, Frog Frog Machine, uh, the person that found the Lugo. We do have to respect Frog Machine because he found the Jake James Lugo interview for us. He says, watch the tester. It's the Lugo segment. So let's watch that first. Oh, shit. Then let's, the, yeah, the yeah, tester. Yeah, I'm yeah. switching tester, answers. Tester, tester. tester. Oh, look at this pop. I didn't know it was going to be a segue. Oh, look at this fluff going on. I have so much to talk about in this channel update. Clearly just took a shower. The grease has not weighed it down yet. Look at that volume. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, he's got a next. big head. And this one, I think, is a really cool <laughs> opportunity for all of us, okay? Ooh, very cool. A lot of you know the, the TV show The Tester, okay? It's not really a TV show. It's not even on TV. It's an internet-based show. I don't know this show. And it's on no, no, PlayStation Home, on their website. And what it's on it is, PlayStation they, Home. Yeah, of course I'm show familiar. It's a, a, a game show where every week you have to play video games, but also you have to do, like, physical challenges and stuff like that. The winner of this show gets a cash prize, plus potentially gets a job at Sony doing testing. Ooh. I'm not really sure of the, the reality of that, if you really end up doing that or not. But anyway. Okay, mini field trip here, because I think it's relevant. Here's the trailer for this show he's talking about. So let's check it out. This is what the tester is, everybody. Hope I don't get cucked for playing a trailer. I shouldn't. Coming trailer. to the PlayStation play. Network. These 11 gamers will be living together in a PlayStation paradise. Oh. All with the same single objective. Who wants to have Beerios? To become the next <laughs> PlayStation <laughs> game tester. Beerios, let's do Beerios, sounds hype. <laughs> Over the course of eight intense weeks, they're going okay. to be put through rigorous challenges. Oh, oh that, when you said rigorous, that means Phil can't do it. So that's why we're not doing it. It's frustrating about communicating through a bullhorn to people in bubbles is I'm communicating through a bullhorn to people in bubbles. Oh, They'll be tested funny. on their creativity. I'm my great hero. Teamwork. And their great. gaming skills. Oh, God, oh my God. These tests are designed to separate the weak. No, I'm not gonna lie though. I love stupid reality television. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> I'm more of a purist. I'm a survivor guy, but not much else. Along oh, the way, yeah. See, I watch all sorts of stupid formed. shit. Life Swap, Tool Academy. I do it all, man. I don't care. <laughs> this is a confidence booster. If she's good looking and a good gamer, that's a double threat. Oh, God. All right, I'm done. Too much cringe. All right, you get the point. If she's a good-looking and a gamer, double threat. <laughs> a fan of mine, who's right. also an avid YouTube user and has a following on YouTube and also works for a website called Real, RealOtakuGamer.com, his name is Venomous Batman. Now, hey! You know who he is, hey! Hey! You know who that is? Hello! Let's bring him back up. Get out of here, Atlas. Your time my is face done. reveal. It is time for the Venomous One. 
Oh, yeah. Hello, ladies. I see you have a lot of skin over there. I'll be wearing that as a hat later. <laughs> he, is. he actually interviewed me way earlier in the year. I think it was like January or February. Oh. And that was his series. It's called OTGT, Only the Goddamn Truth. And I thought it was probably one of the best interviews that anyone's ever done with me because he asked a lot of the questions that a lot of people wanted to know about. So, first of all, if you don't know about him, go check out his channel, Venomous Fat Man, here on mm. YouTube. But Hell yeah. he oh, we will. is in the running to be on the tester. And oh, wow. Being that he's a, a big fan of mine and that he's a good person, he's good people, I've seen some of his stuff, he's pretty good, I think he's pretty that good. as a community of people, we should vote for him. Now, I'm not saying if you completely hate the guy that you should vote for him. I'm not trying to sway any votes, but I think that if you, if you think it would be really cool to get a, a fellow YouTuber and an avid gamer and a fan of mine on the show, I think we should all vote for him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh, put nice. a link in the description of this video to head over to the, the tester website. All you need to do is sign up. I did it myself. It took me 30 seconds, so no one can have an excuse. Oh, I have to sign up. This is so complicated, oh, okay? Oh. Sign up for the site and vote for them. And the thing is, this is a great opportunity yeah. for us to show the power that we have because right now, the top people who are I'm in this voting only have a couple hundred votes. We could beat that within, you know, a couple hours if we really put our minds to it. So put our minds let's to get it. Venomous Fat Man on the tester. I think that would be awesome. It'd be something we could talk about. This is about. kind of cool of him, him to do, I guess. Like... Yeah, yeah, this is very rare, though, right? Like, this is, like, legitimately just trying to help someone out. This is very rare. Yeah, Joe, he's not he's getting not... anything out of this other than, like, it's a fan of his. But, like, yeah, yeah. that's, that's wonder, not the man. Like, I wonder, I wonder, yeah, I'm kind of wondering where's the swing. Like, I'm waiting for, like, what Phil's going to get out of it. Let's see. He does, and I think it would really be an interesting thing to do. So head over there. The link's in the description of this video. Head over there and vote for him, and let's see. I'll give you updates if we, you know, as as it updates live of how many votes he has, of how close he is to winning and such. The voting just opened yesterday, so it's not like, you know, oh, we're already far behind. But like I said, only the top people only have a couple hundred votes. So let's get in there. Let's vote. Let's get him on the show, okay? All right, All right next up. I didn't see him in the trailer, though, so I'm going to have to say he didn't yeah. get in. Oh, right, well, you heard him say it. He, he Phil said it was one of the best interviews he's ever done. So we should probably hear that, right? So last week, if you didn't hear it, we heard the first half of this interview. I'm not going to rewind the stream. You can go back and see the last week's episode. This is the EX mode, which is if you are a patron of Venomous Fat Man, or excuse me, J Jake James Lugo, you would get on, you could listen to this part. So this is the much harder part to hear. You're hearing exclusive content here. So here we go. This is the second half of that interview with Jake James Lugo. EX mode. Look at this. And I love these pictures. Let me tell you. I love these pictures. Big, Look at this. I'm a big fan of the highly regarded on this side. Big ups. <laughs> hey, what is going on, everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel. And thank you so much for being a supporter here on my Patreon page. This is a brand new EX mode that I'm doing for you guys. Yeah. If you haven't already, check out the definitive discussion episode for this episode that I'm doing right now because it's over on the YouTube channel. So I have Dark Side Phil with me, Phil Burnell, DSP Gaming chatting it up with me. We talked about a whole bunch of stuff involving Twitch streaming during this pandemic and all this other stuff. Yeah, Phil, so, tell me, questions. was that conversation top tier? Oh, God. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Phil, do you love me? Just be honest. <laughs> oh, God, that cringe. Punch to the face cringe right there. <laughs> was that conversation top tier? Oh, God. Nice other stuff. Phil, tell me, was that conversation top tier? Oh, oh yeah. It yes. was fun, man. Yes. Oh. You see, my streak <laughs> continues, man. I'm oh, nice God. Nice. You, you see, God. the thing is, Phil, is like, again, every time oh, I have a What do you even say? Show, no. I, oh, my streak <laughs> continues. Oh, my God. That was the worst ever. I always asked them, was that conversation top tier? And every single one of my conversations have been top tier. They've been S tier. They've been good. So I'm keeping the streak going. You know what I'm saying? What are the guests yeah. supposed okay. to say? You look like you might kill them, too, if you say the wrong thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of scared if I say the wrong well, that's thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, just to be nice, you wouldn't be like, no, nah, that shit sucked. You talk too much. Your question sucked ass. You ever thought about letting me talk for once? Like, what yeah. do you want them to say? Oh, holy shit. They've been S here. They've been good. Oh. So I'm keeping the streak going. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Which is Hell great. Yeah. So... I want to talk a little bit, obviously, now more about your career. We have to talk. We have to talk about the bullshit. 
Just going to put it out there like that. Oh. I know, Phil, because at least me and you have a rapport where we can talk about stuff honestly and stuff. And there's been, oh, okay. there's been a lot of craziness with you over the last, like, what, like two, three years, I want to say, give or take? Uh, I'd say about seven, seven about years. Seven. Oh yeah. So by the way, <laughs> this is 2020. So he's he, we're talking about 2020 at this point when this interview happened. So Phil is saying this shit started in 2013. <laughs> I was trying to be generous. I was, I was like saying like, yeah, because I totally forgot. One, I was so about to ask, when is this again? <laughs> yeah, 2020. 2020. It's, it's been a little bit wild. And, and again, I, I look at this stuff from a distance because even though I've followed your career over the years, you know, I, almost as long, like I said in the last episode, as my own career in games media. Oh, yeah. and so, but I watch, you know, as I'm doing all my other work and such. Well, I bet and you do some watch. Wild stuff with oh, you. Like, you specifically, watch. obviously, with interactions <laughs> with other content creators, with Got other streamers, right. with other people that have been on the YouTube and the Twitch space, you know, for a while. I mean, now at this point, now that you've been doing this for a while, has it gotten a little bit easier despite all the craziness? Oh. Um, well, let me put it this way. No, it's going to be, it's even harder, actually. I'm scared to watch him say that. It's even harder. Yeah, this is the pandemic. So all the questions last week were about, like, have you changed your game choices because of the pandemic? That's literally a question he asked. Like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. yeah. You Remember that? It's all pandemic questions. Uh, yeah, Get to yeah. a point. <laughs> well, you, for number one, you, I've been around the block for so long that I've heard everything. I've had every possible thing. Ooh, big ups, Frog Machine, for this. He had been kicked from his first WB Champions faction two weeks before this interview and was being hunted by the Kiwi, by Kiwi Farms this time because of his, you know, I'm sure following his champions shit. Because they were on the hunt at that point. You know, they found the WB Champions and they were feasting on it, you know? So maybe feels a little bit ornery because of that. Said about me, thrown against me. Like nothing's new. Where, exactly. You know, I've had the most ludicrous things that are just completely, utterly, 100% fabricated, not based on a single fact. Like what? Yeah. Pass around Say the one. internet about me as if they were. <laughs> yeah. Say one. I love that he that never point. mentions a one. <laughs> yeah. If he Say mentioned one. one, it would be the escort. That's it. <laughs> yeah, just that's escort. Beginning and end. Yeah, yeah. Beginning oh. and end of it. It's like, it just doesn't matter anymore because people uh -huh. are going to be gullible and they're going to believe whatever they want, whether there's uh -huh. facts there to prove it or not. Um. So for me, I just, on a daily basis, say, I'm just going to unplug from that crap. And I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm yeah. going to do my positive streams. And I'm absolutely sure that people will take things that I say and do on a daily basis out of context to make me look bad. And I'm absolutely sure they will create Always drama. In context. And I'm not about that. Uh, so, you know, I am just going to. I was going to say, oh, let, me, let me ask you this, because I think it's also uh -oh. important to acknowledge this, too. Is Did it? you ever feel like at any point in within the last couple of years? Because, again, even though you said like maybe seven again. years, ago, but let's oh, just say like, last, like again. three or four years, just to be generous like that. Did you ever feel like a lot of the reaction from the majority of the people out there? And I'm not just talking about just the mindless trolls, because uh, there's always mindless trolls on the Internet, and they're always going to be there. There's like nothing anybody can do about them. They're going to be uh, they're going to be what yeah, they're going to be. That's us. You know, that's us, guys. Did you ever feel like sometimes, you know, the reactions and just the, the behavior of a lot of the the crowds that feel a certain way about you did you ever feel like maybe you contributed to that in any sort of way like whether, whether it's through your actions like you know actively or passively and stuff okay hold on hold on hold on this is a little bit of a he's saying did you ever contribute to that like is in cause people to feel that way about him is what i'm getting atlas what do you think that's kind of what it sounded like to me. Uh, yeah. Whether or not I he would... meant it like that, I'm not sure, because he, you know, set 100,000 qualifiers on it. Yeah, true, and... true, true. In any sort of way, like whether it's through your actions, like, you know, actively or passively and stuff, because <laughs> this oh, what it sounds lot, like, there's though. a lot of people. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've looked at, like, videos a lot of people. about you or followed your career. There's a lot of people who just straight up don't like you. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, when you've been around as long as I have, you're you're oh. you're obviously you're bound to make mistakes. And you know, when I started twelve years ago, it was a completely different culture when it came to gameplay and video game on the internet and and, and YouTube in particular, because you know, back then live streaming was unheard of. Um, it was kind of like the Wild West. It was like anything goes, oh. do whatever you want, <laughs> and get away with it. So whether it was over the tears. I was throwing the N-word around all the time. No one cared. <laughs> People liked it. Everybody was, dude. Come on. <laughs> uh, sexualized humor about sexualized stuff going humor. on in video games that I would use in my commentary. Or whether it was very, very edgy things regarding race and stuff like that. <laughs> Obviously, there it is. I did. <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, the thing is, I've published all my content. I never have taken a single piece of content and hit it behind something to pretend like it didn't happen. That's not true anymore. That is not true anymore. But it's got uh, it's all public out there. Everyone knows what I've said and done over the years. But I've definitely over the last twelve years matured. I would say the last since I became a full time streamer about uh, three and three and a half years ago. 
I kind of sat myself down and I said, if I'm really going to continue to be some kind of a, a content creator, I need to, to change things up. I can't just keep doing the same stuff I did. It, it, times have changed, cultures change, you and I've changed. Exactly. I've matured. I've evolved. I don't want to sit here talking about anime girls on my stream all day. I don't want to. <laughs> what? what? You never did. Again, this is extremism here. Like, oh, yeah, this is, this is the bad thing I did. I talked about anime girls, which is something he never did. He just talked about every girl and said, well, look at her tits. Oh, let me shoot her in the tits. Remember, that's all he fucking oh, said. Oh, let me motorboat you, honey. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's actual what he really commentary. Did. Uh huh. That's what he really did. But now he's got to pretend it was like anime girls because that's kind of not that bad. I want right? to sit here, you know, making these comments that are just going to get people all riled up. I just want to enjoy games and be myself, have, have fun, fun, and do that kind of more laid back commentary and have a more social interaction with my viewers rather than oh, that's all he ever wants to, to do is have fun. Why don't YouTube? you work for once? Uh huh. This is fun, dude. Oh, by the way, this is not... James Lugo didn't upload the video like this. This is a frog machine <laughs> taking the liberty to add these pictures that Jake, James Lugo did upload on on somewhere. I think it's Instagram, but yeah. But this is not how he uploaded it. It's just It makes it much better for us, though, so I appreciate the pictures, though. <laughs> Constant My head canning is this is how he uploaded it. You can't convince <laughs> me otherwise. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Smith, Smith machine gloves, boys. Hell yeah. Stop. Which is where I used to... Game... <laughs> Gamer shirt too, going the whole nine yards. Do quite frankly, um. So I admittedly, there's been so many things I've said and done over the years it does that look like I a know poem. have irked yeah. people in the wrong way. Whether it was insulting a certain group of gamers for doing certain things or liking certain genres of games, or insulting other content creators, that's just stuff that naturally happens over the course of a career. They is no, 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 no. Not everyone randomly made fun of everyone else. Like you group just of said. gamers Hold for. No, have irked people in the wrong way, whether yeah. it was insulting a certain group of gamers for doing certain things or liking certain genres of games or insulting yeah. other content creators. That's just stuff that naturally happens. Oh, that's just stuff that naturally happens. It just comes out. <laughs> Thank you all very much for the engagement. I just hate on everybody naturally, dude. Everybody does it. It just happens. When he said I Justine was getting gang banged by the uh by the EA uh executives. That just naturally happens. It just happened out of nowhere. Sucked. Over the course lie. of a career, they look back. Be a little like, different if he was any I... sort of charming whatsoever. Like, because yeah. it is fun to just like hate on you know a group. Not, okay, this is gonna sound weird. <laughs> you know, it's it's fun to just you know, <laughs> oh, you guys like this game? You're terrible, not real gamers, whatever. Like, I do yeah, that all yeah. the time. Just shit on a group of people just at, for whatever reason, because lol, right? But DSP is yeah. not even charming or funny about it. It's not. There's no irony in it. No. It just comes off terribly. Uh huh. And just because for some reason he has to prove that th those people are under him for whatever reason because he doesn't like the thing they like usually. That's 99% of it. Either they are rich or they do something he doesn't enjoy, and that's it. Say to do that, why did I ever act like that? You know, a lot of the times people would ask me questions back in the day, and I would get absolutely no information whatsoever. I would just yeah. talk out of my ass. And it was like, why am I doing that for? That's going to piss people you know, off. It's funny that but... you bring that up because, again, like you mentioned other content creators. I was done. Are you I supposed to channel? I was supposed to say, you're supposed to cut them off. Dumping on your name, yeah. Just dumping on your rep. Careful, so, Jay. Like, there are channels, like, I couldn't believe this when I was looking at this. There are just channels that just look at analyzing every single this part of your streams and, like, yeah. like picking apart, like, every little thing. I'm like, there's got to be either. Oh, Mega64. Another people he made fun of for no reason. <laughs> These people are like really crazy, or he's got to have really piss somebody off. Like there, there'll be moments where I was like, "Yo, Phil, what did you do this time?" Yeah, like, you know what I mean. Like, it's just Jake James common. adding me right now. I feel like I'm being yeah, added. I would say uh -huh. if you're I looking at my entirety of, of the time I've been a content creator, yeah. absolutely. I, mean, I wasn't alive yet. But... Say, wow, Phil really did <laughs> something either. stupid today, and it pissed people off, right? <laughs> but like I said, since the last three, three and a half years that I've been a live streamer. Things have been very tame. I don't <laughs> talk about anything controversial anymore. I don't <laughs> argue with people. I don't get into what? talking about other content creators unless for some reason they bring me up first. Yeah. Like, I've learned my lesson about what's oh. kind of kosher on a, a stream and what's oh. not so that you don't cause drama. In fact, I tell everyone my streams, I want to be drama free. I don't want this uh -huh. to be a place where we're arguing. And you lie every day. It's pretty robust. And so I've really calmed down.
But yeah. sadly, these people have made almost some of them are making a career off of micro analyzing everything I do and turning it uh, into something it's not so that they can get the newest clickbait title on their stream or their video for the day. That's what I bring do. in a bunch of people who like that kind of immature yeah, drama. That's what I do. And a lot of them too. actually make money off of it with ad revenue and people contributing on their streams or, or videos on YouTube. And that's yep. ridiculous in my me opinion. And you know, it's one thing if you're going to make fun of me for my gameplay, that. you're going to call Ball me out, out for something that I did that's bad. <laughs> it's another thing to literally just riff I'm on me constantly so and fabricate like stuff the about mayor. me to get cheap views and make money. No. And that's where we are right now. No, cheap let me views. Ask you, what's cheap views? Like, right? What's cheap views? Uh, what? Yeah. What, let's talk about cheap views from the king of cheap views. <laughs> that's how he made his career was cheap views. You know, this was in 2020, like the, the only person that comes to mind in, 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 you know, in my head right now that he could be that like the first person that pops to my mind that they could be talking about is obviously Tevin for me. Cause yeah, like, yeah, definitely. Uh, and it's like, I, if you've ever tuned into a Tevin stream, like not as not only is he super entertaining, but he's always doing something. So he's always got something going on. There's always a gimmick. There's a, a special thing he's doing. He's now he's 24 seven all day, every day, forever. Like he's always madness, got yeah. something going on. Where's the cheap views? Where's he just cashing in? I know cheap. Just it's whatever. But it, I, I love this picture, by the way, Drew. <laughs> this is a great picture. What is this? <laughs> uh, this, this thing, because I think it's also important to acknowledge is outside of like the really extreme people out there that are like really out there that are just yeah. straight up in the That's wall. Like, me. like let's be real. Like I'm there's just sure. some people that just take things way too far. Yeah, I'm unhinged, but, uh, dude. So, yeah. For some of those other people that do criticize you, and for, for some of those other people that do, for whatever reason, make videos or channels devoted to just being whatever towards you and stuff. Yeah. Did, did you ever at any point make maybe take a, yeah. take a step back and be like have any sort of regret or any sort of like you know mindfulness about like maybe there was something that I did that really tick these people off like all right from... I, I mean i'm giving jake james some credit here he's not he's pushing it on this one yeah I mean, he's laying it on him yeah nice jake come on the mindfulness about like maybe there was something oh, but the answer is never but let's see how he, he you're correct with that answer big guy but let's see how phil's gonna spin this to say he he had that i did that really ticked these people off like even for a long time I even remember earlier in your career you went by the, the moniker the king of hate like even you have a whole channel called the king of hate vlogs and stuff and i always thought to myself is like why why continue something like that um it's that retired just, like, you dude. know it's gonna Come put like, that type of energy out there like did you ever think about something like that at some point oh absolutely and oh. you know again the problem is when you, there's a difference between if you're a person you make a mistake because then people will forget the difference here is that everything i've ever done is eternally archived on the internet True. so people don't forget. That's the oh. you know, so, <laughs> Exactly. And, you know, 12 okay. years ago, when I started recording myself every day, did I think that 12 years later, people would bring up something I said in a video and say, haha, you're a jerk or you're an asshole. Look at this. Of course not. I never thought, I didn't know that that was going to happen. Um, absolutely. I never thought people would hold me accountable, dude. Come uh -huh. on. How was yeah. I supposed people to know? Who, have grounds to criticize me for the kind of stuff that I've done over the years. I don't think but so, Matthew. The funny part is that there's some people who are intelligent enough to look and say, okay, that was 10 years ago that Phil said that. Things change, obviously. Exactly. <laughs> Why you. Are, do you think that the world <laughs> is like this unchangeable black and white color palette oh, black that and never white. changes? It's <laughs> not. You know, people mature, people grow up. My content today is light years different, uh -huh. you know, light years away from what it used to be. And I pride myself on that. When people come to my streams Aww. every day, when I start, I say, this is not going to be a place for drama. This is not going to be a place for toxicity. This is a place for us to enjoy games and have fun and positivity together. That's what I'm striving That's what you say. That, that's, the, that's the company line now, but we know the truth. I was just know, about it, to say, it's yeah. actions speak louder than words. So he could tell you it's not going to be drama all he wants. And then, you know, 30 minutes into the, the, the pitch stream, he's talking about every content creator under the sun and how they are so much worse than him and he needs members. Like, like that's the that's daily the occurrence at this point. And it's so, bringing up the, tra the latest detractor shit because he likes detractor shit more than anyone else on the internet, basically. He knows everything we're talking about, all the jokes. And, and it's funny because the, the people are saying this. He always says that every fucking day, bringing it up. When, you know, Jade is like legitimately waiting for gameplay to start. Derek's waiting for you to start gameplay so he can start beating off. Like your real fans want you to play games, but he still says, fuck them. I got to talk about the tractors. Yo, <laughs> you know? Phil. That's all yeah, he does. His, his, his YouTube history has to look like mine. How many detractor videos he watches? It's, oh, it's got to be insane. Yes. Every second. I'm sure he's seeing those fucking thumbnails. I have <laughs> issue with the old Phil, and I'm okay with that. But I haven't seen literally a single person come up with something like in the last two years that was like a legitimate gripe with something that I did on my stream. It's just things right. that they make up or they fabricate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, slave trade, um, black pack, all that stuff has not it, happened. Okay, and it's ludicrous. Yeah, uh, which is cool. He's oh, black. Uh, shout, shout out to Mr. Ludicrous. Going to be on that being said tomorrow. You want, obviously, because you want <laughs> obviously things to be focused on the games and, and the other stuff that you're doing at the time. It's an interesting thing, too, because obviously we have to look at the fact that, you know, besides all the stuff, which is like day of school, that's creators it. Yeah. and other people out there that are making the channels. Like, really, that, First day of gaming school. That's the audience and stuff. That's one this side. That's the fit it. he had then laid out on this other bed. side, obviously, which uh -huh. is the creators that are much more on, like, our levels, that are people that are actively creating stuff. Like, obviously, the bigger names that come up now more recently in the last, like, year or so, I would say, like, is obviously Review Tech USA. You know, the Ooh. quartering, you were on the quarterings podcast, like, some time ago. Obviously, and you've done and interacted with various other creators at various different points, and you've had all like types of you know interactions with them. You know, what is it that you feel like you know at least in, from your perspective, where the, you know these types of like you know reactions or these types of like you know like word of mouth or whatever it is about you that pervades like this you know this perception of you. You know, for a long time, like a lot for a long time, right. for at least from what I saw, again, on the outside looking again, in, there was just a, a lot of people long, that just going long in the tooth. And things. Yeah, he's going too long for sure, like as usual. But he's the question. The base question is fine here. Yes, Sam, he is. These are all from his Instagram, I think. About you just to jump on a train, just to criticize or just to say things about you that I, at least in my opinion, you know, oh, and I'm God. pretty sure a lot of people out there were mean spirited. Please. You know, no matter what, uh, you know, specific thing that they were referring to, they were just Still some people that just be nasty just for the sake of being nasty's case. But what was that like from your perspective? What was the question? Man, you know, for me, it's frustrating. And the reason is I've always been a person who I don't even know, man. Very few and far between was. will you even notice times What's in my 12 years <laughs> that I've ever really focused in on another content creator. I think yeah. at the very beginning of my career, I think I maybe one. I think of maybe one, which is the guy from Machinima. That was like years ago before you got Hutch. Machinima, I think. Probably, yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, Notch, that's right. Notch, oh, that was and then, I forgot Notch. his name. <laughs> and then after that, we became. I thought it was Hutch, wasn't it? Am I crazy? I thought it was Hutch. Notch is literally the Minecraft dude, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> definitely it Hutch, right? There. Yeah, it's Hutch, not Notch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Notch, that's right. Yeah. Notch, that was and then, I forgot his name. <laughs> and then after that, we became cool. <laughs> Notch. <laughs> Shout out Snatch. Cool. And there was no problems after we squashed that. You made that game that was totally going to fizzle out. <laughs> yeah, when they when you made you pay for that game, it was going to die. That, my, that whatever game that was called, I forget. Long ago, uh, once I criticized the YouTuber because Ash. he was in a gaming advertisement that was running on my video and it promoted his YouTube channel. I'm like, why Tabuskas. are you? That's the most promoting your gaming YouTube channel on an ad on my video on my gaming YouTube channel. That's kind of a, a really slimy business practice. No, it's not. Um, I don't think so. And outside of that, every once in a while, you talk about a big content creator like PewDiePie or Ninja because they're in the news or whatever. Yeah, and you consistently shit talk them. You never say anything but shit talk them. Yeah. Okay. But in general, I'm not someone who would bring. Uh, what about I Justine? You said she was getting gangbanged because she got a job uh, hosting some game uh, awards. Of other content creators, nor do I really even care what they're doing. Doing. For me, uh, I'm a kind of guy where I want to focus okay. on my own thing. Well, what about, I'm a hard okay. worker. What I about be Dr. Here Disrespect? Uh huh. You about that them. one. LTG. What about uh, uh, just what about Justin Wong? Um, oh yeah, Justin Wong. Is we putting out content for people, and I don't want to have all that white noise constantly going on around me because I know there's always dude. people talking about me. There's always people saying. You know, just be honest, nasty stuff about me that I just, I can't deal with it. Oh, yeah, because if I, did, critical, if I don't yeah, know this yeah. stuff on a daily basis, I'd have no time to make my own content. It would just be me addressing all the crap. Let me ask so, you this. Let me ask you this then, because this is also a good like jumping off point from that. Did you ever feel like, especially with some of the larger creators that have either talked about you or have interacted with you in some way? And again, that the best example again. because it was the most recent one is stop with like again. If you cut out the again, in some fine. videos that I've seen, he went into one of yeah. If he just said the question totally. and left out again, <laughs> yeah. don't say again in order to get your attention about stuff like that. It's just something about like you know he wanted you to join his podcast and stuff. When it came to crazy things like that, or even beef for whoever, for whatever reason like that, do you ever think, or at least, you know, try to make it a type of be like, okay, let's talk about this behind the scenes and let's just like, you know, put this to bed. You know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, because at least for the audience, you know, when they see two creators, yeah, DSP two email me, we'll have a very robust conversation. Reason, like, I won't them, leak, it's just I promise. A and it just keeps going. They, they want it to keep going because it's more entertainment. That's right. You, you, That's like, right. you know what I mean? Like, it, like, okay. So the question is, have you ever reached out to someone behind the scenes i guess that at some point i'm pretty that's sure what it sounds like to me yeah that could get, you ever you know, tried to squash the beef annoying. behind it's the like scenes style okay, from what you're got doing it, but at least from again from your perspective do you oh, ever think God, about stop, you, can't, like, yo, sorry. you can't double again listen let's talk about this for a second. <laughs> again let's again like again again see double, here's double the thing. again i would 
Uh oh. I'd be totally okay with that. If that's if that was the avenue that someone like Rich took to contact me behind the scenes and said, Hey Phil, I got some stuff I'd like to talk with you about. Maybe you could appear on my podcast. Here's what we can discuss, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I would be open to that. The problem is most <laughs> of the people who want to get my attention aren't doing that. What they're trying to do is get that clickbait reaction from me. The headline. So Exactly. What Rich wants, he wants me to go on his podcast so he can discuss my personal life, which I'm not going to do. I'm not going to discuss my personal matters that have nothing to do and with that's my your streaming prerogative. content. That's your so what you mean by that is champions, I'm guessing, at this point. Fear, uh, yeah, that machine, sounds like know, champions what, to me. What else could it be? I mean, 2020, Kat's already there. Kat's been there for two years now. And, and, and What else could we talk about personal life? It has to be WB champions. What else could it be? Who else cares? About which I'm not going to do. I'm not going to discuss my personal matters that have nothing to do and with my streaming content. That's your prerogative. Content. That's your choice. That's right. And he, you know, he, right. he comes on my stream and starts cheering with bits on my Twitch stream, trying to get my attention, asking if, you know, if I'll go on a podcast. Or, of course, I'm not going to respond positively. Yeah, it's got to be that. champions because he's specifically say, talking about RTU. Like, when somebody does yeah. something like that, okay, before and the RTU like, thing was he watched that like that, tractor video about champions and how he gambles. Like, at that point, is like yeah. there's no. There's no means of like, okay, we can't really have a conversation at, at that point because you're like literally trying to do something else that's like, guess it's other territory. I don't know if you noticed, uh, Atlas, but now Jake is sniffing you. Right. I mean, what it is, is he's trying <laughs> I, to get attention to derail my stream. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put up my now. normal business. This would be like, well, I'm going to have to take this over to HR for the studio. You know, and this is... a scene to get attention. Yeah. When it's like, you can't do that in real life. You'll, 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 you'll get arrested. But because it's the internet, it's the wild west, right? Everyone can do whatever they want. So he comes and he God. derails Everything my stream the wild to try to get me to be on uh -huh. his content Internet, so he'll make money and he'll get views. And then he wants to talk about my personal life. It wasn't about, what? oh, let's talk about Tractor your gameplay content, streams. It was wild west, stuff dude. that had nothing to do with anyone else's business. And uh -huh. I'm like, no, I'm not going to respond positively to that. I'm going to tell him thanks, but no thanks. And yeah. what I basically told him was, no, I'm not going to be on your podcast. And that was the end of it. You know, he hung around for a little bit and then he took off. Um, but if someone oh, were to contact okay. me behind it. Big up Strong Machine. It's also for the bankruptcy drama. Okay, so yeah, you could be talking about bankruptcy. Yeah, that makes sense too. That's the personal mm. life thing about that. Uh, Game Master, we already finished Ask the King, so that's why we're doing this bonus content, my friend. Bonus content, Jake Lugo content. Scenes. And say, hey, Phil, I'm interested in oh, having you on is a piece the of king. content. I thought he was asking about um, uh, game reference. We'll talk about, I was like, uh, I don't know what I'm in ATK. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to always entertain more that. Than I'm certainly not going to accept every opportunity or every offer, but if it's something that I feel that I can add my expertise or my experience to, and it would be a, 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 a constructive conversation. Oh, yeah, definitely. Expertise. Absolutely, I would consider it. But coming in and making a scene on someone's daily stream is not the way to go about it, nor is it professional when I have public emails you can reach out to to contact me or behind Twitter, the scenes. It's a, or social media, because that, that was going to be my next thing. It was like, okay, what about when oh, that God, stuff dude. spills on the Twitter? Because I've seen you go back and forth with some people on Twitter for various oh, yes. different reasons and stuff. And again, the different situations, you know, context matters. I'm still not blocked. Stuff. Like when that stuff starts to go into that type of realm and such, does that really kill the potential for like being able to like, oh, you know, do stuff How? like that, you know, collaboration? Uh, that, that was my, like I've never done anything really things. on like, Twitter, like but uh, because, I figured you'd block me out of spite. Especially with the perception that some people have of you, that like really kills the ability <laughs> to like- Dude, <laughs> dude, come on, this picture cannot. This is dude, a picture that's what you I look like when I read. Dude, <laughs> come on, this cannot be real, this picture. <laughs> No, he's such a gamer. He's got the the game on pillow in his bed with the Tie Fighter above him. That's hard. Oh, God. Game on, like if the the pillow your mom gets you when you know. I like gaming, so I'm gonna get gaming stuff. Like who has that game on pillow? You know. Oh, the game over style poster in the DSP <laughs> cave. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Like the come on. <laughs> like this is a man that would tell you he's into wrestling if he was though. Look at the how unashamed he is. Oh, Black Doom is into it. All right, Black know, really kind of, you know, <laughs> We don't kick shame. We never shame. We Anything's well okay kind of here. Get into other stuff outside of what you're doing now. And just don't pull right. up on the Atlas so style the stream. Is, we shame you know, over I mean, it. Let's be honest here. <laughs> is there really a person out there who hasn't taken a jab at me? Like, I kind of I, I kind of feel like I'm the whipping... All right, all right hold on. We'll rewind. Naga, that's a good point. We kind of go in... Uh, this is a fan of Phil's that has his own YouTube channel for many years. It's still going now. Uh, he actually appeared on, I think, the second Ask the King, asking a question to Phil. He's just a fan of Phil's, uh, and, uh, you know, he, he got an interview with Phil in 2020, and that's what we're listening to now. This one, you had to be a patron of his, though, to hear. So, here we go. Right. Well, the thing is, you know, I mean, let's be honest here. 
Okay, is there let's be honest. really a person out there who hasn't taken a jab at me? Like I kind of, oh, I, I kind of feel like I'm yeah. the whipping boy of the internet when it comes to <laughs> gaming Still content creation. Everyone too. jokes like, about Dark Side like, Phil. Recently, so. uh huh. Oh, I wonder why that happened. Yeah, we just randomly chose that DSP. Who's gonna be the whipping boy of the internet? Let's go for DSP. I'm not gonna hold it against people who talk in a me you know memes about me or joking about myself and the the, the misfortunes that I've had over the years misfortunes i mean let's talk okay the incident was a misfortune what else yeah I, I think that's what he would have to be talking about uh immediately what else could it be on social media everything else he's been misfortunes he's had it's because of his own fucking fault big deal everyone's done it right well yeah, you said the incident is his fault too but yeah well i'll give you an example you mentioned the quartering so this is a guy i knew absolutely nothing I about I saw, I saw that episode when you were when you were on the show it was like a couple hours i know you guys could find it on youtube and stuff but it was a couple hours where you were just talking with him about a bunch of stuff yeah it sucked yeah and i had no previous knowledge of this guy besides the fact that i knew that he had made fun of me in the past i knew it um but there was an issue where this really hackish uh, news website was trying to take something that I had said on one of my streams out of context just for the sake of creating drama headlines. Ooh, wonder what that could be. To the point where they, the, it, almost the, the media post I was I don't like, know what he's talking about. If he could provide an example or like uh -huh. a link or something, like yeah. he was asking from Justin Wong that one time. Yeah, that'd be great. Nice. If he could just say out the URL so I could type it in real quick. I think it's too late for Hello, Carl. I know what you're thinking. Hello, Hello, Chew. I think it's too late for that though. Cancel DSP because yeah. he said this thing. I'll be yeah, honest with you. It? It's so it's so silly. I don't even remember what it was. I've completely oh, forgotten. Yeah, the I've, seen, I've seen that happen a couple times to even a couple colleagues of mine, and that always sucks when that happens. All right. So here's a guy who I know for a fact has made fun of me over the years, but he actually like stepped up and defended me. He's like, this is silly. You know, yeah, Phil is, is a joke with for a lot of people, but he did not say or do these things that these people are accusing him of. And this is just stupid. And because of that, I reached out to him and I was like, hey, just so you know, I saw your video and it actually was really, you know, it was oh, fair. Chicky Chang Wang. Thank oh. you, Wizard Merchant. Chicky Chang Wang. Bring some about okay. Oops. A quarter, yeah, quarter pounder was into that. Like, let's do, this cancel culture sucks, dude. So yeah, they, Phil would like that. You know, he's on my this yeah, guy's in my corner. Uh huh. And then you know, quartering state. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with cancel culture too. And then Phil's like, yeah, 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 he's on my side. You know, that's obviously how quartering got that interview by sucking Phil off. That's what you have to do. And I appreciate that. And because of that, we talked a little bit, and Speaking we ended from up experience doing. Or? Oh, definitely. This, uh, you know, little <laughs> video podcast. Yeah. You got that interview uh, on the horizon. Your next how, time. How do you think? How do you think we got Gundam on the show? That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I okay, did, I did. all right. <laughs> and you know, people gave him shit because he didn't give and take in this world. Atlas, you want to get up in this world? You got to do a business. All right. Delve into my personal life. I he didn't start paying actually, my tractor style dues. I didn't yes. know that was up next. Uh -huh. yeah, back, he actually did, but it was to the point where. It wasn't so personal that it was damaging to me or it was going to hurt me because I revealed personal information that could it was definitely, fair, like you said. Yeah. I think I think it was fair, like you know, just ask yourself any big upset you, you uh, can choose to answer it. whether you want to or not. That's correct. And That's correct. the thing is, I enjoyed doing it, and I know for a fact that after that he Being made racist? fun of me again and again. All right, found it. Big ups to Zeta, because I found it thanks to your recommendation, my friend. All right, Kay's cooking, get out of here. You are fast. That's what she said. Uh, let's go, um, to me, actually. Uh, okay, so it says, Trish Streamer under fire for trying to explain why racist jokes are okay. And I love this picture. <laughs> the classic. Uh, the topic arose in review asked why he called police upset by racist jokes sent- People, sorry, not police. People upset by racist jokes sensitive when he himself would be upset when mocked for gout, a form of how arthritis. <laughs> why do you say people are sensitive over racist jokes, but you get upset when people joke about your gout? Dark side Phil Reb back in his symptoms <laughs> responding because racist jokes are silly if you do them in a general fashion. All right. Okay. What I mean by that is when you make a joke that is a gen rational generalization about a race, let's say something about the Italians or the Chinese. <laughs> it's usually a generalization. You're not directing that towards one person. Uh, this streamer described as observational comedy, but continued by saying that admittedly people can get angry and get insulted or touchy about it. You have to be careful because some people just don't have thick skin. However, with his medical condition, <laughs> the streamer argued that taking a jab at this is kind of fucked up. It's just that joking about a heritage is not a big deal, but joking about a medical condition is. Come context? Uh, Jack 
Jackal McGockling. Minecraft music on on the seas. Sensitive or racist <laughs> jokes that you get upset when people joke about your gout. Um. Oh, here we go. Because racist jokes are silly if you do them in a general fashion. And what I mean by that is. You can say... Oh, he uh, I, he's reading the same thing I just said. I'm not going to watch it. Yeah. Uh, the streamer also goes by DSP Gaming was criticized for comments online. Okay, we got the point. It's not the first time that DSP, real name Phil Burnell, has made a singular, singular argument. It's funny to joke around say things that in a serious setting might be racially insensitive, but they're re- not really meant, and therefore they can be pretty comedic. Well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch has strict guy on top of writing Phil, Dark Phil Field Channel has not been handed a suspension from the platform for his comments. Any any comments on this article? No. Fuck. Alright, but there you go. That's the article he's talking about. Let's get back to He the basically question. just just requoted that the other day when someone asked him why it was different to joke about races and not his back. And that's oh, why yep. I started uh-huh. which is why we were doing the wobbler bit. We started calling him a wobbler because it's yeah. generalized about all medical conditions. It's cool now. And a reminder what how Phil described that article was taking something out of context, right? How is that taken out of context? They just said what he said, you know? They didn't even say anything specific, actually, did they? No, they just talked about how how come racist jokes are okay, but gout is not okay. That's all they were talking about. And then they it showed was, the full clip. Like, he yeah. was answering a question. He read out that it was a question. That was his response. That's it. That's the context. Yeah. Damn. Enjoyed doing it. And I know for a fact that after that, he made fun of me again and again. Who cares, right? Like, I don't care about that as long as it's fair and it's not like you're constantly trying It's not to- spirited. Exactly. You're not trying to hurt what? me to get ahead for yourself. And really, that's where I draw the line. You want me to be a piece of, of your content or you're a content creator and you're interested in talking about me. Fine. Make fun of me because I suck at, at, at a game I'm playing. Make fun of me because of a silly mistake okay. I made years ago. Okay. But okay, don't cool. try to delve into my personal life. That's none of your business. And don't try to make stuff up to get clickbait views because that's the most dishonest. Who has made Guys, anything if up? If I murdered... If I murdered right. someone behind the scenes, don't worry about it because it's none of your business. It's personal style, so don't worry about it. Come on, <laughs> make fun of Atlas's uh, voice or something. I don't know. Make fun of things that about him, but don't make fun of th- don't make up any things about him. Okay, which I still wait to see what if people made up about Phil Burnell besides the escort, which is kind of like people are trying to make something out of nothing. But you know, but still, that's it. Who has made up anything? Nobody. But- Nobody holds detractors more accountable than detractors, though. Like, if you talk to detractors behind the scenes, like the guys that keep up every day, yeah. like, if you're spouting bullshit, somebody's going to say, that's not what happened. It was this. And then, like, there's going to be a real discussion about it because you don't want to be out there misrepresenting what actually happened because that's how this happens. Like, you need yeah. to, like, like it's, it's a community style thing. Yeah. That's a good point, too, big guy. Escort was made up by an international crime ring, not the detractors. Yeah, because that was someone trying to, like, you know, get money from Phil for whatever reason. Uh, Atlas is short and quirky. Yeah, make fun of his height. God, make fun of Atlas's no. height. Thank God, you. yes. <laughs> Best thing you can do. And sadly, you know, YouTube is right with that stuff off the these days. Tomorrow. <laughs> and I don't play that game, you know. And I know someone like Rich coming on my stream, he's going to ask me ridiculous personal questions that are nobody's business and he's not going to get any answers so why bother entertaining that while someone like the quartering actually just wanted to talk a little bit about me and get kind of an exclusive interview and ended up being a pleasant (laughs) conversation so there's a big (laughs) what's this umbrella (laughs) oh man we're ready (laughs) gamers ready to rock (laughs) definitive oh yeah that's good atlas is short is shorter than alt is old oh damn difference you can have there I, I think that's also true. I hate it on this sometimes planet, the environment, but I'll leave. Even, even you can even argue Twitch <laughs> to some extent, where that kind of fosters that because Hell there's yeah. so many other people doing that. There's some people that are successful with it that people kind of like monkey see, monkey do, and they want to yeah, do the same definitely. thing, and that's what perpetuates monkey that. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey spank. This is why I always spank. said, like over time, especially for that's YouTube, for. you got to get other people to grow to show better examples to show that like that type of content. Yeah, that's probably it. Quartering had gout too, so they're kind of brothers. Is that type of approach <laughs> in some way doesn't always have to be the answer to. Grow, you know, to get your own audience. Yeah, and you know what? Well, you you, you asked the mines. question. You said, "Yeah, you know, why do so many people do this kind of stuff with you?" Honestly, yeah. I think the answer is because there were one or two people who years and years ago made that kind of content and got successful. And just like Monkey See Monkey Do, if they did it and they made got popular from it, I'm going to do it too. And it becomes a trendy thing. And next thing you know, 
What? It's it's the the fad or the in thing to make fun of Phil and to completely just kind of tear me down in any way possible no. to get ahead. No, and that's sucks. what I'm facing on a daily basis. It really does suck. Cause what do I do to to counter that? I, I you know it's def it's definitely defamation, but I can't sue these. Um, I I just want to be a positive content creator who puts out positive stuff on a daily basis. I don't care about them, but they're not going to go away when they're as long as they're getting views and making money doing what they're doing. They're not going to stop doing it until someone tells them it's wrong. And uh, so far, YouTube has fostered this kind of content and thinks that apparently it's perfectly. Ooh. Yeah, you know, in all, in all honesty, I think that that's a, a real big problem. And it's not just with you. It's with other people as well and other topics and stuff. Oh. You know, this is why places like Drama Alert really exist. You know, at least they oh, no. survive. don't bring Keem into this because of things like that. But. Again, we could get into a whole like couple yeah, I mean, hour King conversation right just now. on that We need to get alone. Jake it, James Ludo on Low Cow <laughs> Live. Conference. Yes, but make it happen. Give me Keem. one last thing that you feel like you know you want to see. I'm sure it's not expensive. Bit, either on YouTube or Twitch, you know, over time. Again, we're in 2020 now when it comes to YouTube and stuff. Yeah. But like, but for you personally, having been at this for so long, what is one thing you want to see at least you know change up a little bit that might make the platform and the environment, and the community oh, a little bit better? Man, you know, the, the thing is, when I started on YouTube 12 years ago. Oh. It was such a different attitude. It was like you would upload a video this. and people were hungry for new content because it wasn't readily available all the time like it is now. It wasn't overabundant. And so you would upload a video and it would be like a positive culture. People were excited to see a new video. <laughs> they wanted to leave constructive criticism. They wanted to say positive things about it. They got hype for a new video. Uh -huh. Now it's almost like... You have to put in work to get views now. It totally sucks. I don't know what happened. But it's uh, you, you gotta edit it's your just, videos. Uh, it's kind of ass. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it's like, what's the new thing I can make fun of today? What's the new thing I can tear down today or say it sucks? So you know, it's almost like this overabundance of, of cancel culture toxicity where everything's bad and everything has to be negative. And it didn't used to be like that. I wish that we we could somehow find a way to get back to a, an internet culture that isn't always about tearing down people. I see uh, this on my streams all the time too. You know, I want to put out a positive product. I want to put out something that when you watch it, by the end of the, the show, you feel good about yourself. You put a smile on your face. Like, that was entertaining and that was fun. Not yeah, I love that. Yes, the begging really makes that, really brings that point home, doesn't it? You feel really positive when someone says, hey, guys, pretty slow. <laughs> that makes you feel really good. Let's bring up one That's recent one just for fun. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's ALT, ahead. that's completely disproportional to how good he feels when that tip hits his PayPal account. Uh, so it like uh, balances the other way. You see, there's a classic one from today. Let's just get let's just get. A oh, taste my God. OK, guys. Yes. OK, Let me guys. My pretty low. Here. And uh, thanks to everyone who's here chilling. And uh, I appreciate you all hanging out with me here today. Uh, please support the stream today if you're enjoying it. Now that we're heading into Act 3, I don't know how different things will be, but I appreciate mm -hmm. all support. Uh, currently, okay. top co a contributor is still One Minute Man with that $25 tip earlier. Um, literally every Baldur's Gate stream we've done, we've hit the Tier 2 tips goal. I wonder if that'll <laughs> happen today, because it looks like, uh, for some reason, I get the feeling a couple people are not here today who are normally uh -oh. here for Baldur's Gate. So, Ooh, I guess we'll see what show up. Anyway, let me uh -oh. stretch the legs here. Yeah. Does that make you feel positive? Oh. And what, what did he say again? I kind of forgot, but I don't care. Positive, and you feel like you're having a good day or something. What was oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> put a smile on my face. Yeah, that put a smile yeah. on my face. Definitely, that did put a smile on my face, though. So that's pretty. He's true about that. Feel good about yourself. <laughs> Just put a smile on your face. Like that was entertaining and that was fun. Not oh, you know, we completely eviscerated three people in my content today. And really, you know, only reason that that anyone watched was because I was really nasty to someone and I hurt people today. Uh -huh. Yeah, good yeah. job. Pat myself on the back. That's what I really feel has happened to YouTube in a lot of ways. I wish we could get rid of that. I don't know how it would happen Ooh. because I think that I YouTube think has can. become so honestly. Yeah, it's because it's just so abundant. And 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 that's the Thanks, algorithms James. on YouTube have propagated that kind of really toxic attack behavior. I still just want to know what where he wants them to do, you know, because like he'd be person number one to get gone if we're banning, you know, toxic toxicity slash negative style content. Like he's the guy to go. Yeah, an actual he, he, beggar. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to. He, any, he doesn't want anyone to be able to to question anything he does. That's the world you want. So there's can't be anything. You can't make fun of anyone in this world. You, I thought he wants like free, big free speech guy, you know. But he can't. He, remember, I should be allowed to share my opinion. Okay, then so should everybody else, right? 
and they my opinion is that you're kind of a scummy shit like what do you want all right let's see there's an entire piece this is based around it and how do you now decide what goes and what doesn't and and, and some extent that's why i've stopped caring about youtube it's an archive Uh, of my streams at least when i'm on my streams i can control the content i had to go back on that positive and fun for my Uh, viewing audience and i don't care what people say on the back end about it because the stream at least was positive but on youtube it's like my God, every related video is something disgusting and toxic and insulting <laughs> this person and tearing this person apart. The latest drama, the latest controversy. How, how, why do you even want that's to be do. there yeah, when all you see is for. negativity? And that's oh, like, for me, yeah. it, Super I negative. would like you guys YouTube have to at least kind of be I love negative. That's my favorite. Place where it's 50 50. <laughs> so, I go to YouTube for the negative, not going to lie. Sadly, at this point, I think it's like 90 10. Steer towards toxicity sort of my and controversial. <laughs> and that's that's how I navigate filter, YouTube. Filter. Na- would you like negative to positive or positive to negative? I always do negative to positive. That's how I sort my search. And that's a really <laughs> bad thing because when I started 12 years ago, it was the complete opposite. It was fun. It was a place where people put out creative content on a daily basis and were eager to see that content. Oh, man, grateful that people would put out good, fun, entertaining content. Yep. Not so eager to just destroy everyone else on a daily basis. And uh, It's really gone down. See, uh-huh, go ahead. <laughs> it's just it. there's so much creativity in the detractor community with the songs and the art and all of the different editing things that people do in their videos. It's super interesting, and everybody's having fun with it. But DSP just doesn't see any of that. He just sees people bullying him, which is a real shame because I think even if people are making fun of you, you should be able to see the creativity that's in it. If it's a good roast, it's a good roast, damn it. Yeah, and and, and that's very true. Remember, he used, uh, T-Ling brings up, I thought it's the Wild West. Anything goes. Remember that? How many times we heard that? It's the Wild West in YouTube. Whatever happens, happens. But now he's saying like, oh, it was more positive then. So it was just better. Is it the Wild West or is it everything positive? Come on. Yeah, I don't think that people were describing the or Wild West as very uh, positive. And no, no, no. You smile YouTube. on your face. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. So definitely check that stuff out when you guys can, if you're not already in the know about that. Oh, that's a good song parody idea. The Wild Wild West. People, <laughs> no copyright strikes. It's the Wild Wild West. Stuff already. What is one <laughs> thing you're going to be doing song. during quarantine besides gaming and stuff like that? Is any, like, you know, specific thing for you to chill out that you could think of that you've been oh, doing? Uh, okay, here we go. What did he do to chill out during the, during, yeah, Atlas doesn't know the song, he's too young, just like I, I wasn't going to say it, but yeah, yeah I, I mean, yeah. I, we I, say, we I know the meme. Age, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you think Phil's <laughs> going to say you here? It. What is Phil going to say here as what he did during the, during the uh, pandemic besides gaming? What is he going to say uh, here? Well, he just kind of, he um, approached it with like a more chill style, uh, you know, atmosphere and vibe. And people really appreciated that. It, it became a place that um, they no, could no, hang gonna out. Be like, he's more... No, no, no. Hold on. It's, it's like what he did to like spend the time is what he's going for this question, I believe. Oh, oh like oh, free time uh, style. Yeah. yeah. What's he going to say this here? Free time. Other style. than game. I don't even know if he had like if he. I, I, I think he's still going to go with game, but he's going to be like, well, I'm a full time content creator. So that doesn't really stop when you're um in the pandemic, you know? Oh, like he- OK. That's I, I think. I think he might say just spending time with my wife. I think he might go there. Oh, big guy. That's true, too. He might see he has no free time. I never have free time. That's probably it, too. You're right. All right. Let's I feel like that's well, what I said. You know, not only do yeah, I do right, main game playthroughs of hot releases, but I do. Go what's considered chill streams games like animal crossing or minecraft Uh or even elder scrolls morrowind where it's so much open world content that i just kind of relax and interact with my viewers so it's not necessarily serious gameplay that's like everything i said and uh, just this week coming up on thursday i'm doing a q a show uh just to talk to my viewers for a few hours so you know it's not just about games all the time sometimes it's about a social experience too i like that awesome that sounds dope sounds chill so definitely be on the lookout for that stuff, guys, when you guys can. But anyway, thanks again, Phil, for chatting up with me. Guys, let me know down below in the comments, either on Patreon or on YouTube. If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like on the video, of course. And also send me suggestions of who else you guys want to see on the show and what topics you want to see us discuss here on EX Motor or my oh, definitive discussion show. But as always, don't forget to check out all that stuff. And thank you so much for being a supporter here on my Patreon page. From both of us here, we will talk to all of you again very soon. Peace out and stay epic, everybody. Stay epic, everybody. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Jake James Lugo actually. If you make fun of any stream chatter, get better in the second half than the first half. Still I agree, the second one's but... definitely better.
Uh, but this is fucking from literally yesterday. Uh, Jake James Lugo is still doing something. Uh, Bigos Fats 12 says, uh, I think that because YouTube recommends Phil Detractor videos, he thinks that one of the big genres on YouTube, like there's vlogs, gaming, tech reviews, car videos, and Detractor content, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. You know, he says like, holy shit, this is one of the biggest genres on YouTube. The tr my detractors. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I <laughs> yeah. wouldn't doubt it. He, he thinks that's how it works, you know? His main page is on detractor stuff. So he's like, whoa, dude, it's huge. Uh, but let's hear, uh, let's let's watch this, huh? Why not? No, we're not watching it. Let's see your, look oh. at James. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, James. <laughs> Talk to me. You, you Puts can't... his foot up on the table. Yeah, he double stacks it. You you can't double ask for hype, dude. You ask for hype one time. You know, how's everybody feeling out there? And that's the end. But then he goes back and puts the foot up. <laughs> what? All right, let's watch it again. All right, there's the first one. What a baller, dude. What is going Oozing on confidence. Welcome to Mortal Kombat Night at Flames Gaming and More. Yeah. <laughs> this will be our big Q&A for the evening. Thank you so you much can't for do it three times. Thank you so much for showing support. Thank you okay. for bringing everybody else together and running around yeah. like a crazy man. Yeah. Okay. So, yo, let's do a big welcome to all our guests, even though some of you all have seen them already with these signings and everything. Let's give a big shout out to Carlos Messina, Daniel Messina. Okay, so anyways, this this channel uh, this channel is on here. Seventeen thousand subscribers, hundred hundred something views. Let's see what uh, let's see a question from old Jakey here. I kind of gotta hear it if he's improved or do they even not let him talk. Okay, it's not worth it. Oh, there we go. So going from. Okay. Um, whatever. I'm done with this. Anyways. All right. I'm done. Anyways, Atlas, I know you're doing something tomorrow. Please tell people what you're doing tomorrow. Go ahead. Yes, 145, me and Inked Blessing are doing the React stream all day, the whole thing start to finish. There we go. It's gonna be great. The whole react. And tomorrow's react is the throwback react, right? Or is it the? I think that's the late one. The day okay, one is okay. the normal style. Okay, normal react. Are you doing? You, so you're doing the daytime react? Let's get it straight here. Yes. Nah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The daytime, daytime, not the nighttime. I'm going to bed. At okay. Nighttime react. I Sounds can't be good. up for that shit. Sounds good. All right. That being said, of course, is on tomorrow. The songs will start at 7:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on WPIG. You're all legends. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Bye. I just want to, I'll, I'll, I'll watch the beginning. I'll, I want to see what the, the reveal, all right? I'll see the reveal. Hold on. I, I'll see the reveal. That's it. I'm on live. I just want to see the reveal. We're not watching a second past that. This is overtime, yes. Atlas is already gone. I just turned it on to see what be on. This is not the last lover time. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. This is exclusive content. This is fucking stupid. This is fucking stupid.
you know, how long is it going to take from the start is the question. Uh, all right, let's watch something else until he comes on. Is he, like, live yet? He is. YouTube's upload servers were fucked again. This part should have been tested. I don't think they tested this. This part should have been, should have been. I don't think they tested this. So no, just swim through it once. Did you swim through it? Did you try work? Yeah. Let's watch something else until that. I'll keep coming back. If someone's watch, keeping your eye on it, let me know. Let's watch um the copyright strikes from this uh, channel update. No, let's watch something from today. I didn't see anything today. So I got to catch up. So what did happen? Uh, so J James, uh, anything from today? Oh, this is some. Oh, look at this uh, review tech content here. And that's from last night. Let's see the not having friends thing, though. Well, I was after getting all my errands done pretty quickly. All right. Um, I'll keep checking back on what we want to do for the day. And something happened. I never expected this. My wife says to me, so I want a game oh, to what play a cat say. between right. now and the release of Dragon's Dogma 2. Dragon's Dogma 2, for those who don't know, comes out around middle of March. She's like, that's the next game I'm eyeballing. I'm really excited for it. I want to play it. But I don't want to jump. I don't want to, you know, I, I just would need something else to kill time. Even if it's not that serious of a game or whatever I'll keep i just my need something to play too. and of course i've been suggesting all kinds of game pass games to her but like what about uh uh hellblade send with sacrifice oh, he's, on, he's, on, he's on he's on he's on fuck it we're back being dirty now <laughs> <laughs> all right you ready we're just staying here for the reveal that's it sounds good you can hear her here's what we're doing so this time around the microphone, we actually put it directly between us better than we did last time. Last time we had it too much in one direction, which screwed it up. Um, and also, uh, the game volume was probably too loud for what we're doing, so we lowered the game volume significantly That's again. Right, Let me test the camera. Here we go. Let's see here. Can we please just start? Oh, there centered, we go. Because I accidentally also hit the camera before, but it we're looks still centered. Too tall. I think it's pretty centered. I'm trying to tell. It needs to be maybe a little bit more this direction. But for the most part, I think it's good. Uh huh. What do you guys think? Dude. Horrible. Atrocious. Is it good? What's up, Captain DCW? He says hi to Filling Cat. First time being on a co-op stream. Well, What's well, up, Captain? You want, you want to turn this on? Yeah. There you go. There you go, Hangy. We're going to do the audio like we did last time. We're just going to be going through those neck phones. Eventually, we're going to try to find a solution, maybe like a better pair of headphones so we could split the audio. Right now, uh -huh. we don't have anything. We're going to try to figure this out. Oh, they want you to speak to see how it sounds. Oh, okay, testing. Hopefully, it's better because it's facing towards me, right? You faced it it's Facing more. towards you. And remember when you talk to try to turn towards it a bit. It's yeah. A, it's a directional mic. Like, it takes, like, right now, they can oh, be better. I'm getting depressed. We got to stop. I'm getting depressed. I, when they yeah. play gameplay, so I'm out. I project my voice towards it. You got to kind of, like, this is your voice Just towards the mic, and then it picks up better. So, but. <clears throat> okay. When gameplay starts, we're out. All right. Hopefully. Hopefully. It works. Yes, it will work. <laughs> work. Of course it's going to work. She's pissed about hey, something. You got to be closer. Me, I'm so used to talking loudly and everything. We need to. No, I just gotta here. get used to when I'm looking at the screen, <clears throat> playing the game. Ooh. I have to remember to to talk the other. Way. I know. What was that? She definitely rolled her eyes, didn't she? I saw that too. DCW for like 120 bucks. That's how much they cost. They're more expensive than just like cheap headphones. So, to look into that. Yeah, I think she got tired of him being treated like a kid for a second. You know, What's up, for Storm a Force gamer. Good evening. How you doing? By the way, K-Styles, thanks. 33 months as an ultra supporter. Appreciate uh, that, K-Styles. K-Styles, good help. Good <laughs> get help, brother. Sarah says you sound good. Hello, Neo. Good evening, everybody. Ready for more Don Doko? Dent Doko, dude. Good Let's evening, go. Derek. Yes, don't unsubscribe during the stream like you did last time, and then you couldn't talk for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the neck phones are still expensive, even though the neck phones are several years old now. You know, I had Ooh. I had that last pair for about two and a half years, then I had to get another one because they broke. Yeah, I'm uh, getting that vibe too, Griffith. I am getting that vibe. Plus tax, of course, too. So I'm on that know, vibe not too. Not cheap. Look at her. 
I'm done. She's done. Uh, it's not that I prefer neck phones. She's already YouTube, done. Come on, Philip. Let her go. To, let her play Skyrim downstairs. I, I, I had streamed from... She does not want to be here. 2014. No, 2013. All the way through 2020. And then all of a sudden, the, the year Thieves of COVID, Guild I get a string of ear infections. Downstairs. And when I stopped using headphones and putting them on my ears and taking them down to my neck, the ear infections went away. So obviously that's what it was. No, I'm leaving. I promise I'm leaving as soon as the gameplay starts, dude. So since then, I've just not worn headphones. I have to avoid wearing anything that creates too much of a, like, humidi humidity b boundary around my ear when I'm in the office. Humidity room. boundary. <clears throat> <laughs> headphones are humidity boundary. Humidity b boundary around my ear when I'm in the <laughs> office here. Like, wait, wait, wait. I gotta hear it I again. To avoid wearing anything that creates too much of a, like... Humidity, humidity b boundary around my ear when I'm in the <laughs> office here. <clears throat> humidity boundaries. Uh huh. What's up, Cloud Strike? Thank you for a membership. Appreciate that. Good evening, humidity Smitty. Good evening, boundaries. Good evening, Jade. Jade, how you doing? What's I'm up, Jade? Today, hopefully you're doing What's well. What's up, Jade? Love to see you, brother. Hey, Jade. No, no. Gameplay, we're out. If you make three star tonight, you get better options for the island. Yeah, if I remember three stars when... What's up, kid? I'm trying to remember when the... Because I was watching Cat play, and it unlocks the farm. And that's when you can really get all the veggies and everything. And that's, like, the big level that where you, like, start coasting. But I can't remember if that's between two and three star, if you have to hit three star first. Because that's also when you can start training Sujimon and stuff yeah, like I'm that. Down, I'm touched. down with this, a single this, thing this theory. With Sujimon at all in the game. So, I'm Look not sure. We're going to see. We're going to see if we can hit it, though. She we're going to see if we can hit the three stars tonight. Let her go. So play here. <clears throat> Good evening, Robbie. What's up, Theo? Theo. Oh, Theo. Yes, I know, Jade. I know you don't like Baldur's Gate 3. It's all good. Dinner was good. Pasta. Pasta dinner. Uh-huh. From what restaurant? It is coming up. The farm is between two and three stars. All right, Can so we please start right here? There. Yeah. No one cares. It's three. Is it when you hit three? I think. Hmm. I Look at remember. that. She's pissed, dude. So tonight we're doing this, and the next time I play the game is Monday night, and then I'm playing the, the game myself, solo, and that means I should be able to use all the rewards that we've unlocked playing these two mm -hmm. co-op streams. So we're going to alternate. It's going to be like... I play the main game, then we do another co-op stream, then I play the main game. There won't always be <laughs> rewards unlocked every time, especially when we get to like four and five stars. What was this move? She's like, can we just get on with it here? Watch Cat here. I play the main game. There won't always be rewards unlocked every I mean, time, especially when we get to like four and five stars. Those take a long time to unlock. That look. So those will probably take multiple streams. Let's, let's find that look here. Look every time. So then we do another co-op stream, then I play the main game. Can we just be done here, or can I start yet? There won't always be rewards unlocked every time, <laughs> oh, especially when we get to, like, four and five stars. Those take a long time to unlock, so those will probably take multiple streams. But uh, so far, last time we unlocked, like, $40,000 just between one and two stars, which is really good. <clears throat> Crazy, dude. Oh. Okay. Whoa, that was weird too. Look at this. Phil looks over there trying to get a vibe, like a vibe check. Watch this. Watch, watch, watch. See, look, look. He's trying to like get a vibe check, I think. See, and he's itching for, look at this. Okay. This is, something was weird, man. Something's weird. I think they just fought. I think you guys are right. This is weird. No, what? she didn't. You didn't do any any post game content, right? After you beat the story, you didn't go back. No, I did not. Yeah. No, she's playing Persona Three now. We were just playing some. Uh, uh, what, could she the answer that? Here. Some Persona Three, P Persona Three Reload, or Reloaded, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Captain's got a new bed. It took him and his mom four hours to build it. Yes, beds mm. can be a pain if you're building them yourself. I know. <laughs> no, we just do store bought sauce. We like every once in a while. We, we still do, you know think about making <laughs> our question. own homemade st style sauce, but we LARP haven't question. done it in many. Basically, it's another thing that disappeared with COVID. 
We were doing it regularly. We were constantly... COVID killed the sauce. Making that sauce like once every two months. And then with COVID, it was too hard to get out. It was too hard to get ingredients. And since COVID then, we never got back into the, the rhythm sauce. of doing it. And just, we just... <laughs> COVID took, takes another life. God damn it, COVID. Do store-bought sauce now. Huh? COVID took another life. Where did I get this God background for the it. Xbox? The sauce didn't get the vaccine, dude. Dashboard, it's, it's free. If you have an Xbox Series S or X, you go into... Yeah. Oh, yeah, here. You want to see the question list? Here we go. These are all the questions. I got to update this. I'll do this right after the stream. I'll update this. But those are the questions we're looking for. Uh, please, can someone say, do you love to go a wandering beneath the clear blue sky? That's the key right now. That's our target. Do you love to go a wandering beneath the clear blue sky? <laughs> The customization menu, and you look for these free things. It's there, and you just you just customize the color. But it's there. You know, you don't have to buy it. It should be on everybody's Xbox. Okay. Jasper's good. He's on the floor right here. Right Are in we front just of us stalling for money? That's really what we're doing right now. Aren't position. We? He looks like a loaf of bread. A He's a looking all bread. around. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, first contribution of the night came in a two dollar tip from yeah. Kirk. Everything. Every evening, Phil. Watching Steve, Steph Curry destroy destroy a WNBA player in a three point contest. I agree. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and we, because you know why this might have happened? Uh, because you know, obviously that cat yawn picture made the rounds, and if she's on Twitter in any capacity, I'm sure, you know, she saw that, and that might be a part of this. But I do also like the theory that they this is post fight. Well, you know I don't care about that. You know I don't care anything about sports whatsoever. Okay, dumb fuck. Thanks for the two dollars though, bitch. Well, good on you, and thank you for the first tip of the night. <gasps> good on you, cat already on Okay. Yeah. She, she looks like Paul Bear's daughter. I have no idea if we're doing any. I think MLB this year. I don't even know when the MLB game comes out this year. I'm just. I need to, to do a schedule update and look at all the games coming out because I really don't know what's coming out past uh -huh. just a couple in March. That's Can't that's where I am in it. the schedule, and it's I'm way behind. Not enough contributions yet. Did you ever play Sleeping Dogs? No. No, you never did. Mm -mm. No, Good. you never did. It's a kung fu version of GTA. That was such, that was such do, pers, teacher to two-year-old response. Oh, you never did. Uh. No, you never did. Mm-mm. Oh, God, it's, sick. it's a kung fu version of GTA, basically. It's all hand to hand combat kung yeah. fu, and it's it's a. Yeah, uh, she said she knows. How can I say it's like a, a police plot line? Yeah, where you're, you're an undercover cop. You pretend like you're in a gang, but you're really a cop. Oh, look at that look! Look at that look! Look at that look at the camera. She looks like she's signaling us. She's signaling us. Cat, blink twice. Here, look at that. Cat, blink twice. Just blink twice. I can send help. You're really a cop, mm -hmm. and so you're trying to like stop crimes and stuff. It's actually pretty good, pretty well done. Hmm. I'll send help, cat. Jenna, we can make it happen. I have her on speed dial. <laughs> I got a dollar fifty tip <laughs> from Chimp Thoughts. How does Cat like Persona Three Reloaded? I'm personally loving it. What do you think of Persona Three Reloaded so far? It's okay, you know. I didn't play it original. I'm playing it only remastered, so. I don't really have an opinion yet. I didn't mm -hmm. get far enough. Wow. What do you think of... What do you... Okay. That was... That's one way to answer... To not answer a question. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna boot her up. Boot yep. it up. Get it started. Looks like contributions dried up, honey. Start it up. Should be right where we left off last time. Try to get to three stars, because... Yep, get into the swing of it. Oh. I don't remember where we left off. I think we this just unlocked the lighthouse. This is worse than Wednesday. Right? Is that what we did? We had... Yes. By worse, I mean better. We unlocked the lighthouse. But... Yep. <clears throat> we're we're behind by three minutes. I'm behind three minutes, Paul Tar. That's it. I mean, wait, wait. Would I say... Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not doing this forever. I'm out of here. But what I'm saying by worse is this is much more uncomfortable. Like, like on Wednesday they kind of were just like doing what they had to do, and she was playing a game, and that was kind of it. But this is very much different. She doesn't want to be here at all. Wait, which 
20 nope. minutes. It was the most recent one. Oh. Look at this. Just done. I, they, this is massive post-fight vibes. Massive. So it would be, uh, let's this see one? the time. No. Yup, 58. That's okay. it, 58. Yep. I'm not streaming this. I, I, I'll, I'll, what time is okay. it now? Okay. Um, All right, ready? Get started here. All right. All right, everybody, welcome back. It's right. Dondoko Island Co-op. This, this is I'm our not. third part of this co-op. Uh, last there time is... around, Kat and I jumped into this. Uh, and How about this? How about this? I'll stream until his next contribution. That's the deal. Did the entire one and two star ratings all in That's one sitting. Which was and I'm already doing more. I already went to the fucking outro once. It's awesome. Uh, we had just unlocked the lighthouse. That is where we had ended last time around. And so now we're going to continue on with the uh, criteria here to get the three star island, which I think we have a lot to do. I think we have to the uh, first, build the first quite a bit. Tip. We have to get the satisfaction up. I'll go to the first tip. Yeah, I agree with that, star Weston. Level. The first tip. Um, inviting more guests. Remember, we have the ability uh, to invite higher level guests now, I think. Oh, um, now. Because we unlocked Faker them after makes doing even the, sadder. The, the two star rating. So that's God what we're doing tonight. It. Now, a few things. I Since last comparison. time, number one, the microphone is more towards Kat. So hopefully you'll be able to hear her more. And when she, you know, turns and talks towards the mic, hopefully it'll pick her up better. Thank we got you. a new pop guard here. Pop so guard? Basically, this pop guard no longer blocks the camera, which is great. Um, <laughs> it's such a big last one used to be this giant circle. Oh, yeah. It was, it was kind giant. of blocking us. And now it doesn't do that shit. anymore. And I adjusted the volume level. So if you guys could let us know how the volume sounds, I know the game volume is probably really low right now, but the number one complaint last time was that you guys could barely hear us when we were talking, that the game was droning over us because we're further back from the mic than when I just do my solo gameplay. Uh -huh. So we've tried to adjust all of this appropriately. It looks so much better. Um, Amazing, dude. I don't know it if it's going to sound any better, so just let me know how it sounds. If you need <laughs> yeah. to louder, like it's Get too low, let me know and I'll try to make the game louder. <laughs> All right, and uh, let me know how everything looks and everything. You know, I need to, uh, your feedback on that, okay? Okay, yeah, <clears throat> we need that. Yeah, Beyond Belief is the name of the show. Adam. Sorry for not saying that earlier. All right, so. Right out of the gates, we're freaking invaded. <laughs> I'm just going to go sell some stuff. Probably we have full inventory, we have right? full inventory. Right off the bat, full inventory from last time. Everything is sounding good, Smitty. People are saying sound good. All right, sounds as long good, as it sounds dude. good. No, I'm not standing. I told you guys, this is, I'm oh, on man. a small office chair. This is the smallest one we could find. Like all Ottomans and office chairs seem to be this height and <laughs> they're all taller than my, my chair. Here. All, uh, all Ottomans and office chairs seem to be this height and you can't- adjust. Chair that I use when I stream. So this is the best we can do. The thing is, if we switched seats, like basically I, I kind of need to be here. Oh, this way I can easily man the chat. I can easily man the leaderboard. I can type on the keyboard. Man the leaderboard. Over there. Get over there. Man the leaderboards. Holy shit. We got a detractor. We got an Argentinian bomb. Man the leaderboards. Then I'm kind of like set apart. Like Cat being over here trying to play wouldn't make sense, right? I mean, I guess we could technically try switching seats if this is a big problem. Last time you guys didn't seem to care too much we didn't about the height differential. It wasn't a big deal, right? <clears throat> No, Sith, we already talked about this. If we both got this gaming Don't chair, they wouldn't fit. Yet, My gaming chair's huge. Oh, My gaming chair true, true. is literally from here to the door almost. Like, there's no way you could fit <laughs> right. two next to us here uh -huh. in the office. That's why I have this smaller chair, so I can oh. fit snugly next to it. So. So anyway, by the way, for the record, we yeah. are exactly where we left off, meaning I have not played this game at all since last time. Um, so we are still earning new rewards. Yeah, see, this is when they get boring, though, because Kat just starts playing, and she's doing her thing, and she kind of is enjoying her life playing a game because she doesn't have to interact with Phil. The beginning was very awkward, though, because she had to interact Toward with me him. playing again. The next time I play this game is Monday night, and I will be playing the actual advancement. So I'll be going uh, back to Hawaii and taking any of these things we earned in the game and finally using them. Okay, right. so I haven't used anything yet. It's just whatever we did on, on Wednesday, which was the last time we played, we're continuing here tonight on Saturday. No, I'm not, and then we're gonna, the I'm gonna return back to the main game and I reap the rewards that. basically and buy a whole bunch of stuff when I play again on Monday. So we can get better housing. Good, we should. We should do that. Instead of the crappy oh, tents, right. I mean, it's obviously, we have to do three three stars in order to get this yes. one but we can at least do all right maybe buy two yeah buy two and then just get rid of those like crappy get rid of the tents yeah yeah 
There you go. Yeah, we'll just uh -huh. sell them, yeah. actually. You got your bean! Because, you know, some of them do want better lodgings. Yeah, right, I'm sure they're not going to... Especially the, 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 the next level of guests aren't going to want to stay in a tent. They're going to want to be in a, you know, a bigger thing. John is saying that he found that fish are a great way to earn extra money if you only catch, like, the big fish. Yeah. And you have to sell them for a lot See, of money. See, I told you guys, it goes to so this, and it's not even worth watching. So, we just tear these down put the buildings right on top of these? Yep. So you it's just not even worth watching, guys. Out. We don't need these anymore. Yeah. And then put the new ones. Um, the... If they're doing this again Wednesday, I'm out. I can't. I'm not that strong. There we go. If they're doing a different game, I'll try it. But this one, I can't. On the other side. I cannot. Cool. Well... Let me it, guess. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. It's too big. <laughs> but that's fine. I can I can put it. I'll find another place for it. That's fine. The but ground doesn't fine. matter. We can fix the ground. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're not staying here. Looks Don't worry. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for a contribution, then we're out. Okay, come on. What's going on? Run around like Phil here. <laughs> Oh, I gotta go sell those uh, shafts now, too. Yes. Right, we don't need them anymore, right? So you yeah. get money back for them, right? Yeah. So this is considered a C-level house. Or C-rank or whatever. Right, and we had what? Like D? Watch there be no, no contributions like the whole the time. Yeah. That, <laughs> that would be <clears throat> the fucking worst. Right. Well, there you go. Catherine the Magical. Better times. What'll it be today? Steampunk. It was all the rage. Okay. It was simple ten. Yep. We need some money back. Seventy thousand. Oh. I'm not backing okay. out of any deal. The ramen I'm cart staying there. until Thank the first guy. We have a ramen cart that we bought. We never put it out. Yeah, we should put out as much as we've got, right? Tyrone, good Definitely. evening. <laughs> Tyrone? Is that Tyrone literally? Put out as much as we've got, right? Hold Tyrone, on. good evening. Hear the ramen <laughs> cart that we bought. We never put Listen. it out. Yeah, we should put out as much as we've got, right? Tyrone, good evening. <laughs> good evening, Tyrone. Yeah. <laughs> Out here Good evening, Tyrone. Walkway, right? I have to be able to get to it with the walkway. Good evening, Tyrone. Hello. Oh, right here. Cool. Hello to you, Sir Tyrone. <laughs> Put it like right. Good evening, Tyrone. Will they use it? <laughs> even though it's not on the walkway? Because I know how the game is. St sometimes it can be stupid. I heard like they won't even use it if it's not against yeah. the walkway. So. They should use good, it now. good evening, okay. Tyrone. Good. All right, let me get good, the. Good. Uh, all right. Um, Good evening, Darren. Yes, Dark Gaming. We just got the better housing. Oh, you mean? Do you mean for me or like the character? We just bu built, got the better housing. We just got the uh, the better shack rather than the the no, tents. I don't like that there. No. They're gonna use it because I remember. <laughs> Good I evening, Tyro. That was very funny. As long as they use it, doesn't matter where it is. All right. No matter where it is, as long as they use it. Good boy, Nanny. All right, now we have the ability to... Hmm? I can highlight his chat if they say anything interesting. We need 15,045. Actually, we're almost at 15,000. All right, yeah. Derek, the satisfaction is the easy part. Is this clear out the fields? What was the Cat, other one? Do you know how to increase the popularity the on well. Bundoku Island? Said the fields right. and the lake. So Derek's on the prowl. Those are the two goals. Uh, fields, well, that's going to take a crap ton of money. Win a battle at the lake. <laughs> how do you increase uh -huh. the island so popularity? So I guess we should build... So to this so day, should we set up twice. as much as we can, right? Yeah. And then we should invite guests to stay so that way they'll they'll pay money and everything yeah and then during that time we can keep clearing out the fields or whatever oh, come so it on gets someone cheaper. tip please and i don't know where i don't know where the lake is i don't i don't even play this far know. enough to know where the lake is Let's see, we've entered the shithole already. Uh, areas. A few days clearing it out when the guests were here. Yeah. And then it ended up going down to like 200 and change. So actually, they're probably even more expensive than that. Yep, who cares? Um... So hold on, let me go check and see where it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where the lake is or the fields. Oh, I know where the lake is. Hold on. The yeah, Atlas. Is... We I just, I just said bye to Atlas, and I was like, "Holy shit, let's see if he started yet." He wasn't started yet, so I was like, "You know what? I'll just put it on here." Oh, you're talking about the bridges. Bonus. Oh, okay. You got to build bridges across yeah. areas. It's, gotcha. It's right here. See. That's the lake. Yeah. Oops. Oh. 
Here so we go with the good night, Derek. At the lake, I don't know what that night, means. Derek. Does that yeah, mean that they're gonna come night, here Derek. and fight? fight? <laughs> oh, okay. Good night, Derek. <laughs> yeah, you have to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, I guess, there was there go. was a bridge, I think, wherever the fields is, but I don't know because they mentioned Derek. it last time. <laughs> Mango pimp. Near the end of the stream, he said something about the bridge, but it wasn't this one. It was a different one. Oh, look at Derek! You were doing a great oh, job with the island. I love the things you built so far. There's one over here. You can't do it yet. They're not. They're not gonna let you do it yet. This is like later. Yeah, that definitely wasn't it. Yeah. yeah. And there's only one other one, I think. Darth Goldbach, thanks for 13 months as a member. Just hope you're having a great night. Thank you, Darth Goldbach. Big up, Good Darth to see Goldbach. you. Good to see you, man. You're awesome, dude. Good. Great to see you. You know what? The lighthouse. I can probably put a shack up there. Sure. We have nothing up there yet. We just unlocked it. So. Although I can't see anything. Oh God. Dark. The day has passed quick. The lighthouse is over here. We barely got the bearing, our bearings. Oh, definitely. And uh, our day's over. Yeah, Those yeah, socks yeah, yeah. are here, stiff. Do it. I see better tomorrow. All right. Jasper, be careful over there. Jasper's going behind the consoles. He tends to do this sometimes when I'm, you know when he comes oh, in here when I'm streaming. He'll oh, climb God. behind the consoles and lay down over there because he likes the hot air blowing on him. What's it? Oh. Likes the hot air blowing so on. We'll invite Hell the guests yeah. now, right? Yeah, I would say yeah. Get because we gotta raise money too, right? So let's get more guests there while we're doing let's this other busy work day. stuff. Oh, sure that would make sense. All right. Our C rank lodgings. There we go. We don't have B rank yeah. lodging, but we do have that. Um... Oh, well, she likes you can Trump. find a Firefly. If not, I'm sure they still like their stay. They like everything but the Firefly. Yeah. We have to find it. And then Sleazy. We could can... build some Sleazy things while he's here. Yeah. So remember, so we'll look for Fireflies and build some Sleazy things. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay. So the, the LARPers are having fun with Derek. That's all basically all they're I'll doing. I have to question how the homeless guy can afford to come to a resort island. Yeah, yeah. Like, Derek, oh. Derek did not say bye, but yet everyone's <laughs> saying bye to Derek. Who knows? Derek, stay, dude. The stream just started. <laughs> Damn, I miss Derek. Have a good one, buddy. <laughs> How do you increase island popularity? The popularity is by leveling up items to higher star rating or yeah. award. Oh, that, that, that was the Derek there question. Two key things to do it. That was the Derek question. I can't remember what the other key thing was. Oh. Can't wait for your bid. So for the esteem resident tomorrow, Derek. <laughs> a scheme. Uh, huh? Yep, oh, he's the, the farm. farm. So the farm's yep. about to unlock. The farm. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> Don't let the bag bugs bite. Yes. It's probably going to take us there now. Unlock the farm. Right. Dark, Dark Gaming says you can invite anyone at any time, but they're harder to make happy if they're missing some of the categories. Right. Yeah. Oh, the, LARP, the new thing for LARPers with Derek is just say see ya. So the far, the, fa the fa flag screwed up. <laughs> Blowing the wrong way. Oh, yeah, that's really key. The flag is screwed up. Yes. I'm sorry, that guy was ready. Look, like he has to pee or something. The way he's like holding his... Oh! Oh! I'm getting uh -oh. the bathroom. I'm like, why'd they have him he's do that? Back. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Wow. Well, cat like that joke. Derek is complimenting your work so far on the eye. Oh, well, thank you. It. So here we go. Dude, so Derek, I know, you gotta I know thank this from you cat for cat. I happened to be there when she unlocked the farm. I bet he just busted So I basically, right there. this farm is for growing crops, and you use the crops in That's order to craft there. higher level things. Mm -hmm. But you can also do a lot of things with your Sujimon <laughs> on this farm, which is Sujimon. interesting because I haven't done anything with Sujimon at all in the game. At, I need at to once. get on this LARPing mm -hmm. game. So we gotta I see how this is gonna any work. I, don't, I haven't I feel caught like many Sujimon, but I did buy the higher level. Like for streams like this, where it literally sucks. I mean, you don't want to do anything. I need to get in on this game. I could say some funny stuff and try to like edge the line. Version of the game. But someone will tip them off on who I am, and then it's over. <laughs> and that one gives you free Sujimon, like legendary Sujimon. Sujimon. So we have to see if that could be implemented here. The like, Sujimon. can we use them here? Uh, and okay. uh, I think there's actually a way to train them up can here automatically tick, as well. Without even playing with them, you can train uh -oh, them up. Oh, she likes Chun. Um, they like Chun. So here we go. These yes. are the two women who work the farm, basically. Yes. Yeah. I think one of them's the the farming itself. One's the recycling uh, center or something like that. I don't know. It's two different things that they do here. <laughs> and of course. <sighs> what? So. Of course what? Oh. Source of money? Well, that's good, Black too. Cat. We need more money to do stuff, Excuse so that's me? good. 
Look who it is! <laughs> Look who it so is! For those who don't remember these guys, these yeah. guys are recurring characters Excuse in the Yakuza me? franchise. They oh. had their own fighting dojo. And oh. over the years, Kazuma Kiryu had interactions with them over and over. Dude, and I wish I did not make him this fucking deal, I'll tell you that. Reinvigorated to fight him again and yeah. get better in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So basically, yes. here they are. They're returning to the game franchise <laughs> as Sujimon to help you. Remember, they were the starter Sujimon in the Sujimon League, but now they're going to be basically your starter guys here on the on the farm as well. Yes. Okay, who cares? So there I'm you not go. trying to be entertaining anymore. I'm just trying to sit here now. Just trying to get through yeah, this. There they Waiting are. for the clock. Yeah. Waiting for that tip. So I guess we got to set up for. the three different things. Yeah. To get them all working. And I got to go back and give them gifts too. Right. I'm just sitting here. Before the day ends. Training spot. Let's see if we can put some of my Sujimon in there. Sujimon. All right, so we know how to do Get those Sujimon. So basically, oh, wow, I have way more than I thought. But again, because it looks like <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of legendary Sujimon. Yeah, so oh, Sujimon. you can just pick whoever you want to train. Yeah. Just fun, toss, yeah. some, up, toss some legendaries in there and okay. level them up. Should we do all Sujima. red or mix? Or... I would do a mix. Maybe one of do each a mix. kind. Okay. Right? Definitely. Look at Definitely. this. Who gets snowflake oh in my there? God. Snowflake. I don't know what that is. The get snowflake. The head guy. Okay. Put in, put in a tiger. I'm not suffering through one. it. And I'm waiting for the bear. first tip. No, Gasper. put in Saijima. There you go. Okay. That's first, cool. And then um. Tip equals out. How do I? Is I'll it already it done? Known. I forgot. I don't know how this works. Strengthen oh. or? No, I think that is signed, but I don't think that did anything. Oh. Did it? I forgot how to do this. We gotta do it. Oh, oh, spot. Here you go. Oh, we want to level them right. up. Yeah, First we want, definitely want to level some of these guys up because they're all level one. But wait, see now I can't do it. Hmm? Because you already got assigned to the other thing, but I don't even know what that is. I don't know what it is either. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know that. Let's just toss some people in so we can level some up. All right. Because this is how they get artificial levels, basically. Uh -huh. Here, we'll do him. Do one of each color. Okay. It's been a while, so I don't remember. Okay. You know. Okay. How to do it? <laughs> okay. So these guys are, I think, oh. going to level up, right? Everyone knows. Okay. Let's get to it. Okay. So now we're the deal. Should we do the? Should we do everything. Do this one. No, do super all chats don't count. Right? I said that in the beginning. Super chats don't count. Because we definitely have enough. All so right. this is the recycling <laughs> center. They give you free resources by assigning them. Oh, cool. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, we didn't what select a course, so because of that, you don't know what <laughs> yeah. games you're gonna get. You have to oh. course first, see. Which one do you want? Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're playing oh. two hours tonight. You can you do the big one, do the mounds of materials. This one. Yeah. And then nice idea, huh? so you assign. Want I think you, if you assign a blue guy, you get a bonus. I think that's how it works. Oh, thank you, Lucky oh. No, no one tip yeah, Phil for this. No guys. one. It, it has to really be. Matter. You don't have a Has lot, to be legit. You, you gotta just toss anyone else in. It's fine. Never give oh. Phil money. So they're gonna get free get resources for us. I and didn't really. I didn't really use this that much on my playthrough. I didn't need to. Crop so. patches. This is how you get crops what to craft stuff. So this is oh. important because you need no crops to craft yep. stuff. Never yeah, you're running out of people. Do okay. we have? Uh, hold on. Do the crop patches again first. Remember, because we got to see what we're growing. Oh, oh yeah. Uh -huh. What do you want to grow? We'll do crop patches first, right? Select the course. Oh. There what we go. Crap what do you want? Uh, again, just do a long one, because we're going to be doing stuff all night. We'll probably come back here at the end of the night. And okay. as for... I would do the starter ones. So like a tomato, a potato, and a daikon, right? Oh, just do like one of tomato? each. Tomato? Whoops. Just to get tomato. stuff growing. Oh. Okay. There. And then grab the, uh, grab the sujibon, put them in there. So one well I'll do one red because that would be tomato boost. Uh red. We don't Any have other? red. They're yes, doing, we do. He's right doing there. he's doing oh, something. Oh I see. You don't, get the other you don't have that many Sujimon, uh, so it's all right, toss in green guys. Ooh. Just toss in green guys. Let's get the green guys are built. You tell him what's up, cat. Don't take that shit. The problem with that? She knows what's going uh, on. So it's all right, toss in green guys. Just toss in green guys. It looks like the green okay. guys are available, right? Like, I, oh, no, I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> them. Uh, toss in the green Saturdays guys. are my worst day for, Sorry, for the track night. I can't see anything. We don't have anyone else. Just him. Did okay. you put the same guy twice? Because I had two of them. Oh, you did? I think I have two of those same green guys for some reason. 
I don't know why I would have two because uh, I thought you could only catch one of each. That's fine. Just start it. Then I say drink. Right, this is I just the, it's side stuff. You can right, do whatever. it if you want to. You don't have to. <laughs> the Jasper's behind you. <laughs> doing silly things. Jasper, what are you doing? Now don't climb on her when she's playing, Jasper. Oh, I just made the new vipers there. My right. mama has one. So you should probably harvest pink. all the stuff the here. Yeah. This is a good months. place for resources. Like you can rare stuff on the beach here. Injured this is one of the mama. rare beaches where you can grab items like pearls and stuff. And that's rare. There's one right yeah. there. I'm not crazy that you need to craft them, some really good items for your island. So this is an important place to be gathering stuff. It's the point. Dark gaming, we don't know what you're talking we got about. We've seen the light elements for the workshop. What but is Derek a light wants element? a big contributor. Oh, you mean, Why you does mean Phil the pay class so much of yeah. Great question. Fantastic question. Uh, there was once a time when he was using his mommy's credit card, and she didn't know about it, and he got in trouble for that. Thanks for the membership. Okay. So, but after that, there hasn't been any contributions from Derek. Many people theorize there was some kind of deal between, between uh, Derek's mom and Philip. But obviously, we never know. We do not know that that part of the lore. And big ups to Lucky Limes. Yeah. Oh, I don't and even you got know. Queen that. of the streets. The Great pull. <laughs> what are Hell you talking yeah. about? I don't even know what that means. Um. So DNA did a super chat. Who are your favorite Yakuza characters? Ooh, great uh, question. Man, over the whole franchise, that's a tough question. There's a million of them. You know. Can you please just answer? Uh, I think, of course, everyone says Kiryu is the best, but. Probably like Saijima, the guy who got framed. He, he thought he had murdered a bunch of people just to find out it was all set up. He hadn't really done it. Could and we he ask to jail for a question, long time please? just to come out and basically he's a badass. I like yes. Saijima. Yeah, Saijima. Oh, let's see here. Could, can you ask Kat the question? Oh, I got a couple shout outs nope. to do on the tip side of things. Oh, yes! We're done. See the $10 tip from Dan the Man. Thank you to Dan. Dan the Man. That. That Dan the is the man. Hell yeah, Dan. Get help. You're ending this stream though. I'll, I'll wait till he finishes his tip reading and we're out of here. Get help. Thank Everyone you, needs help here. Dan the man, hell yeah. Guys, you know you don't want to watch this either. Don't put yourself through this. Don't. Jasper, be careful there. Do something else. <laughs> Is that it, Dan the man? And. And, here we go. And. Robust, robust. Received a $7 tip. From Kirk. Seven dollars from let's get Kirk. let's get to let's get the, the support train rolling. There you go. Thank you, Kirk, for another tip. All right. Second one from Kirk. We're done. It's a seven dollar tip. Let's go to live. And we're twenty bucks still. There we go. Let me see what I All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for the overtime. Very chill. Thanks for the meaningful time. Big ups to Atlas as well. And uh, we'll see you seven thirty. That's literally. Let's see. That is only nine hours from now. WPIG will be live again. So you're all legends. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.